Hello. Tis the season. It's I mean that's it's the it's the time. I unmute. Yes, I did. I am alive, but I am sock puppet. Um, we're back for D and D. Uh, hello everyone. Don't worry, you get sexy back on Friday unless you're into this tennis ball hilarity. E. Mm -hmm. Uh. Hello. Yes. It's fine. The rest of us are here to balance it out. It's fine. There you go. Into, Actually, into, you know, into. I'll, I'll, I'll join you in the cosmos. <laughs> Never mind. No, we, we are all can't, no, no longer sexy. Got it. Mega, I am not cursed. What is that? Is that is that paint? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So there's a funny story with this. Um, <clears throat> On someone's uh, on someone's uh, thingy, they did have a like a like a, a wheel of punishment uh, going on for like a certain amount of biddies. One of them was spend five minutes drawing someone's OC. <laughs> Guess what happened? <laughs> it's, a, it's beautiful. <laughs> 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 what is that? It, it does remind me. I need to do an MS Paint stream again at some point. <laughs> also, hello there, new people. Um, so I can't give you a specialized hello because it is D and D time. But welcome in. We are having a super serious game today. Yes. Why no specialized hello? Yeah. How fucking dare you? <laughs> Fine. Oh, hey there, Cian, Cian Bree, and. Caller, welcome in, welcome in. My name is Semi Nigma. I'm an Elder Dragon Mom boss, but right now I am a sock puppet. Welcome in. See, I I can do it much simpler, like a specialized hello. Sup fuckers. There you go. Ow. <laughs> it's classroom time, bitches. <laughs> Sup fuckers, it's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. <laughs> Finally, he admits he's a boy. Congratulations. Well, uh, technically, I'm a man, but you know. A man boy. Like no, 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 no take a man of boyish proportions. Wait, that sounds horrible. Never mind. Ugh. Hold on, the fuck <laughs> you say about me? <laughs> he's small. <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a reason why that was a nickname in, in the long list I did, uh, where we, we would just call him Pluto. <laughs> the pebble. Listen, five ten is not small, Demon. <laughs> You're small. No, uh, it's, it's perfectly average. It's okay to you be have small. You two giant ladies. The one that can shape shift into a giant lady if she wants to, and then you have Leecher. Listen, the fact that you guys are all monstrously tall is not my fault. <laughs> no, but it does make it easier just to pick you up. I mean, it does. Listen, I fight back. Don't deny that. I have a so, see, you see well, these when? hands? They were made. No. I have a plan. Well, hey there, dudes. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, hello there, Raiders. Oh. It is I, uh, Semi Nigma. How are you doing? <laughs> Hold on, S -S Semi. Hmm? Did I just hear you mutter <laughs> under your breath, I have a plan? Because I am scared now. You're... <laughs> how dare? You're... <laughs> you're. You're okay. It's, a... it's all right. You're just. Uh, you're... Is, it? You're... Yeah. is it? Yeah. Is it all right? Yeah. He's a little it's great. man. He's, a, he's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. guy. He's a little tiny rocky. I, I just want to add on the angry eyebrows on it on my sock are now very accurate. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Look at him. He's, he's just a little guy. It's... Okay. okay. I had a no, curse no, thought now. Rusemi, I want to commission you now. I want you to commission, like, you holding up um, Rocky like you're holding up Simba, <laughs> and then the following panel will be that you like eat him. The, like the Joe Cat one? <laughs> oh, yes. my God! <laughs> this B.O.R. would have me struggling the entire way. I don't Mike. think you need to even commission her. She could just edit it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I could just, <laughs> just stick him on there. Oh god. Make what Rocky a... like long cat and just have him just like dangling with his like center part just like extended somewhat. My one claim to fame being the holding up Joe Cat and then getting yeeted. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just <laughs> it was great. You know, yeah. Uh... It's also oh. Leecho's fault. He did it. He yeah, it. Yeah, Leecho did. <laughs> it was very funny. All right. uh, there, there's a curse joke in my head, but I'll save that for off the stream. <laughs> Oh, I have this little doodle worm on my head, and I love it. Anyway. 
I, I am the source of brain rot here. You're welcome. <laughs> it's not me this time. Yay! Listen, mm -hmm. it's fine. Some people have like an angel and a devil on their shoulder. You have me on your head. You are much more, uh, much more fucked. Yes. <laughs> I, I will tell you to commit crime just because it's funny. Yeah. It is. No it's, it is very funny. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be doing like D and D or something. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. We Shit. can be serious, but why should we be? <laughs> Wait. Wait, mm -hmm. you guys can be serious? I mean. Yeah. In theory. I mean, meanwhile, me looks at the stuff that I've been putting into work for other tabletop stuff. Yeah, I can be serious. Hmm. Okay, let me see. Oh. Hey, Hi everyone. <laughs> Hello. This is supposed to be Dragonlance, a D and D game. Hmm. You will. Uh, we're going to be goofing around a lot, so enjoy that. Hmm. Last time, uh, you guys got exploded by a frog, and then you fought a skeletal dragon. We did. That about sums it up. Oh, and um, you found a wizard's laboratory and immediately began looting. Well, yes, yeah. as is the proper thing to do. I mean, it was attempted before the fight was even over, so yeah. Yeah, see, I thought there'd be, like, something helpful in there, and then it's like, no, I just ran like a little bitch. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Accidental fleeing, mm. mind you. <laughs> yes. I see how it is. <laughs> what? Hold on. Had to capture it. Oh, we come back to you guys now. Mm-hmm. I bring you guys to the map. Oh wait, does the map- Back into the wizard's laboratory. Wait, does the map have music on it? So I can switch it, it over? Does. Okay, one second. Deal the weird silence for just a second, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody else. How you doing? Uno secundo, please, for before. <laughs> I can turn it up if you need me to. Um, I- th that... I think... It's good. Everyone can- everyone hear the creepy rumbling? The creepy rumbling in the darkness? Rumbling. Rumbling. <laughs> So I just keep seeing Rocky up there and it's killing me. <laughs> That's fine, I have that effect on people. <laughs> I mean, he's a rock. He can kill people very easily. Hello, yes. hello. Blunt force trauma is very effective. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, oh get you guys back over. over yes, there. I think everybody can. Oh, yeah, I should probably give her the weird little advertisement. One second. The tutorial? The tutorial? We don't need that shit where we're going. Oh, should... Wait, there's a tutorial? <laughs> I didn't know this place had a tutorial. 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 Yeah, it's, called, it's called socializing. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I know it's but the yeah, hardest one. Well, we really do have the same brain cell right now. <laughs> you guys. You guys came into this lab and you find several items, uh, oh. and of just weird shit. Mm. Chicken's feet, alchemical components, a weird hourglass shaped flask. Chicken's feet? That sounds delicious right about now. You fool! Yep. And. You do find a couple of scrolls, but they are beyond you. Mm hmm. Mm. And right before you finish looting, you did get someone walking in on you as you were looting their laboratory. Oh, yeah. Right, didn't she just go, what are you doing in my house? And we're just, like, chewing faster. Oh, wait, ah, no, I, I didn't want to do that. No! Ah. Did you see Rhino noise chewing on some of the chicken feet? Wait, can you, like, told you, like, oh, you like, uh, here anyway. Just come, come over here. He put them there again. I accidentally went in the weird direction. So... Ordo being very intrigued by the research going on here. Probably is probably definitely gonna follow up because they don't seem hostile yet, at least. They're wearing so many danglies. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Ordo, hmm, this seems interesting. What's the <laughs> research going on? Meanwhile, Rhino noise, shiny. <laughs> Do you think she's don't gonna lose her bones? The main character, Leroy. Don't forget yeah. him. The main character Who got the kill. Wait, hold on. Where, where, there's Leroy. Hold on. <laughs> he got the kill. He is the main character now. I'm sorry, Rocky. Yeah, he's the tiniest protagonist. Then. Oh, I just realized, Semi, I'm hmm? on your head, but Leroy's gonna be on mine. <laughs> Make a totem pole. Uh, yes. <laughs> 
Why is there not a Leroy uh, sock pocket? Actually, judging from what I'm reading in the chat, I think uh, uh, Aika was the one who actually got the killing blow on the, the dragon. Ooh. You get it? I was talking about the frog. Oh, oh the frog. Got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah, Leroy murdered the frog, yeah. yeah Honestly, yeah. triple, possibly. Yeah. Hmm. Also, I'm gonna I'm just say Leroy flies over and comes to sit on my shoulder. There you go. Easier for me. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's just keep it up. Let's just keep it up. <laughs> I remember who would have you off to that fight. <laughs> Don't ask it who's your daddy. <laughs> Did you say that in character or not? Oh no. No. Cool. Damn. You would have gotten a very weird look from Ordo. It would have been so funny though. Uh, what do we can right, do? So... Oh. Ordo goes up to open the door, I guess. Mm -hmm. Rhino. Just staying in the other room. Sorry, I was Rhino's distracted. Yes, I was enthralled by. Ch Wait, is this where? Where is everybody? Where, where did everybody go? We're like here. In the room and up. Uh, am I in the room? Believe we're figuring out that Rhino. Yes. Yes. Yes, you are. Are right oh. here. Okay. We are up here. Do you oh. Up? Oh. Okay. One second. Um. I was legitly spaced now about the whole chicken feed situation. Anyway, pardon me, pardon, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Can't believe it. We're figuring out that I know it's a chicken feed fetish. No, I want to eat it. She's just like holding a jar of pickled. It's food. Potato, potato. Anyway, I order opening the door. <laughs> you just walk in carrying like a bucket of chicken feet. Uh, this, uh, uh, this next chamber is furnished as a lavish apartment. It's Ooh. lamps and stuffed chairs look old, but well-maintained. A hooded crimson robed figure uh, sits at one of the couches, sipping tea. Uh, from uh, behind the hood, you see a bleached skull mask, and they speak with a smooth voice. Ah, welcome. Are you done looting my things? I didn't take anything, just to let you know. And also, you can literally see my hourglass shaped flask on your person. I didn't take that. Please give it back. Hmm? No, I, literally, I don't have it in my inventory. Wait, was one of us supposed to take it? <laughs> no. T to be fair, that was mostly enthralled by the research back there. I didn't understand much yeah. of it, but definitely interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, she's just, just going to set it over here. Anyway. You're being very calm for someone who's underneath an active war zone. Yes. Old. So anyway, uh, what's your name, if I may ask? My name's Ordo. And a million. Million. Yes. Are you? Related to what's going on, are aware of what's going on upstairs? Mm. Like, what's, uh, like, related to it in any way? Somewhat. Mm. Care to elaborate? Hmm. Hmm. I was alive when the city came down. Was? Oh. Oh. Yes. As in not anymore? Oh no! I'm still alive. Oh. Only... <laughs> how is that different than it is now? I was alive. I am still alive. Now simply the city is... no longer in the air. Oh. Oh, how long? So... How long ago was that? At least a couple of centuries, probably. Well, since you messed with the hourglass, uh... yeah, that makes sense. With that, that just put back over here. So, mm -hmm. so you would you like some tea? What kind of tea is you know, it? I've only been able to get chamomile. Ooh, I like the chamomiles. <laughs> oh boy, here comes something that's actually useful about me. <laughs> what do you mean you're always Guess useful? Who was a chef? 
<laughs> Guess who was a chef? All right, time to see if this shit's poisoned. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I mean, honestly, dare I have insight? It steered me wrong so many times. <laughs> I mean, I could. Have, what I'll, are you trying to do? Go ahead. Right now, Iaka having someone who is not in at least a state of worry because she seems super calm. It's like either there's something about her or there's about the tea or whatever. That's what's running through her mind. Can I roll insight for that, please? Sure. All right. 18. Okay, it's decent this time rather than that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hard to read with a mask currently in the way. Yeah. But based off their demeanor and the way that they're offering tea and also drinking that same tea, you doubt that it's poisoned. Hmm. Uh. I mean, I'll have a small cup if you have one, but if... I have an emotion. A teacup starts floating towards you. Don't go. Thank you. As Ordo just grabs the cup right out of the air. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. Good. Are you evil? Ordo just so. looks at the Rhino noise. <laughs> you can't ask someone in their own home if they're <laughs> evil, you know. I mean... <laughs> like um, Rhino using okay, her one brain swear. cell? I think I once was. Oh! Wait, can you retire from being evil? Yes, you can retire from being evil, just so you become evil if you want to. Oh. Um. question, because, you know, I'm assuming you spend this, these entire centuries down here doing research or something else? Hmm. I had nowhere else to go when the world ended. So I stayed here. Wait. It ended? Yeah. How, how much about... do you know about the world right now? Enough. So you what... know that... Hold on. What's your what do you mean the focus? <laughs> That's basically it, right? What, what, what do you mean the world ended? The calamity. You know there's an entire world out there living, right? Not like it once was. Well, we're trying our best. That's but... fair. My one brain cell. Hmm. What's kept you down down here? Have you had no way out? Or just choosing to stay here? <laughs> I suppose... Pondering my own hubris. I was one of the many high mages to make this city fly. Uh, what happened? The gods showed us how foolish we were. Oh. I am a high wizard of Onyari. Mm -hmm. This very city that you now step on the cusp of. You're not the first visitors to my fallen city. The world has forgotten us, but yet is now starting to flock here to the paradise of Ishtar. I fear that although my home has suddenly been remembered, its lessons have not. Hmm. Hmm. I am aware of the invasion of the city. I don't know who these troops are or what their plans are. But I have seen their movements. Patrols of soldiers and monsters roaming the city, focusing much of their activity on the threshold of heavens. A large temple in the center, in the city center. Troops also frequently come and go from a large mansion that has not completely collapsed like the others. I suspect that may be their command post. The threshold of heavens is also where we made the city fly. Hmm. So they're probably going to be trying to find some way to make it fly again and use it, given that most of their stuff can fly already. It'd basically be just a moving fortress for them only. Probably use it as a military staging platform. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. I suppose the legend of Sal Lamar did not follow through. But they are here to try again. What's the legend? I've not heard of this myself. You do not? You hold his lance. What? Huh? Not neither what? And whoever's holding it, suddenly the dragon lance, the broken dragon lance that you guys have been carrying, is suddenly summoned before you out of your pockets as she waves her hand. Oh shit. Oh no. <coughs> oh no. That's that's we found that. <laughs> I have no. I didn't know about this. Oh, well, so, I had it in my back pocket. Well, bag, new tube thing. You know. I knew we forgot bag. something. It hovers before you, this rusty, broken lance that apparently was part of some great legend that you got beneath the, uh, the castle of Cal- uh, Calaman. Mm. I mean, you do not know the legend of the very sphere that you hold. I definitely didn't. I wasn't even aware we... My poor companions had this in their possession, to be honest. I so mean, we got it before you, got you were here. Anyway. Yeah, that, just... But also... We kind of have it... Mostly because of what we were just looking for... Any kind of way out at the time of that. And that was just down there at the same time. And also where we had our friend here get a cursed axe, but... We won't talk about that. Yeah, that was kind of bad, wasn't it? Yeah. Then allow me to enlighten you. Back before the end of the world, before the calamity, this city was a shining beacon, a flying city of holy light. However, it did not hold the greatest of reverence in the eyes of gods. They saw it as a mockery. For we use the bones of dragons to use the magic from them to keep the city aloft. The gods gave a mission to one Sar Lamar to come and convince the king here to land the city back down and return the gravesite to the dragons. The king denied it. And Sar Lamar, in trying to convince the dragons not to attack the city, ended up defending the king from a gold dragon. The lance was stained with gold dragon blood, mm-hmm. and Sar Lamar failed his mission. Thus began a war between the city and the metallic dragons. One of the many missions the gods gave to try and prevent the calamity. And again, it was failed. When the calamity came, down came a mountain of calamitous fire along with this city. I believe you have already met a few of the dragons, their remains, their hatred for what we have done to them. That we have. Yeah. Yeah. This lance you hold, once of great power, is now tainted. But I suppose it could be untainted. How? I'm washing it? I don't think it's that easy. Damn. I'll have a little bit of soap, it's fine. (laughs) <laughs> in a way, yes. Well, seriously. <laughs> there is a flooded temple in this city. Oh, the gosh. temple to one paladine. Oh, really? You know of them? Um, <clears throat> uh, they're, um, toy worship, dearie. Oh. Ah. Huh? See, I do my own thing, and that's not exactly all I know, Sophie. <laughs> the only other thing I know is the bird. A loading symbol appears above Rhino's head. She's like very naughty, the what? Um, essentially, the, the, um, the pay well, I, I suppose the god I swore my oath to. Oh! Uh, to, re- to receive, um, my 
Well, some of my magical benefits. Ooh. Your blessing. Well, that's the cool. blessings I've been giving. Oh. Okay. Well, that's definitely a, a point to visit then uh, when we get there. But. Mm hmm. Aside from but, that, though, are are you but, not bothered by what's going on above you? Like the the, the dragon cultists effectively causing problems. I can't imagine they're making the situation down here any better. I have not been affected. Hmm. If you have come through the tunnels, then you are well enough able to go through the city. You appear strong enough. Oh. Thanks, you. Yay. Do you want or need anything? <laughs> she looks over all of you. None of you appear to be with the Towers of High Sorcery. Nope. Nope. I, I don't even know what yeah, that I know, is. I know a little bit about, I know a bit about magic, but mine's a little bit more technological, I guess. You have I use the land. The arcane are about you, but not one of importance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I see how it is. Eh? Or 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 gets like like a, you see like a slight vein pop on his head, but he's not responding to that. We're all to stop the bitch slap. <laughs> <laughs> but all for annoying, just go. Okay. If you wish for my wisdom, I would suggest. While your friends fight on the outskirts of the city, drawing the attention of the army, go where you need. To the Temple of Paladine to restore the lands. To the manor they've made their outpost to learn more. Or, if you feel daring enough, straight to the city center, where they are trying to control the various cities' flight. Hmm. Uh. Do you know anything about their command center, like the mention you mentioned? Do you know who the commander is? I know regular patrols go in and out. I have not bothered to look at their names. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, like looking at the the, the lands piece that we have, like it it isn't it is not only but it's not only rusted but it's also broken, right? And we don't, and we don't uh, yes. have the and we don't have the other part of it yet. It's it's less busted and more just like deteriorated. Decayed. So think oh. of the master sword from Ten Years of the Kingdom. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. So we do have the full thing. It's just that it's oh, not I thought usable. we I thought we only had half of it. I thought we only had half of it too, but that's my must be misremembering. Oh, oh okay. I guess we could have just mispronounced something earlier in the book too. Possibly, because mm -hmm. I'm like, I thought we just like only had like a part of it. So I'm like, where are the other part? <laughs> because that was like, what, six, seven months ago? That was yeah, like, true. it was 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should probably set the weird magical stick back or put, do the thing with the magical like spear thing. Yeah, that was the plan I was thinking too. Just yeah. Like, you know, flabbergasted. Yeah. We should probably do that. All right. Hmm. Is this the way out? Oh, not that. Is this the way out to the city or? Yes. That would indeed okay. take you to the cusp. Cool. All right. So we have. Thank you. Uh, we'll have our friends take care of stuff as a distraction. And then we just do that and maybe kill all the other dudes later. Mm -hmm. If you can. Cool. Done right? E. All in favor? <laughs> uh, yay. Hmm. We have like a long uh, rest on the way so I can like... A little beat up. Yeah, because it's like, can we have like, yeah, I was, you know... Didn't um, want to imp I didn't want to impose. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to do it here, but you know, maybe in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> also, a long rest is like eight hours, so oh, yeah. I, don't yeah. spend eight hours. <laughs> I have one hit oh. die left. <laughs> also, hey there, readers, we are doing the D&D. &D. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, hey, Corey. 
Hey, yo, yo. Hi. Let's get you shouted at. Liquid thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. K zero R one. There we go. There. Yeah. Didn't shout it out, but hello, welcome in everyone. My name is Semi Nickman. I'm an Elder Dragon Mom boss, but today I'm a sucker puppet because I am a serious D and D person. Yes. Me. Me. Anyway, so wait. So we're going into the the hallway of mystery. Yes. Okay. Yes. Into the hallway of mystery. Oh ah, shit! That's a thing. Um, that is big. And you guys are over at this cave, all the way over here. Oh Jesus! Yay! Oh. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so daylight. Hooray! We we done it. We found the we found the sun. Yeah. Um. So I guess we'll we'll rest or. The glittering city of broken domes and jagged towers stretch before you. The nearby buildings and streets slope down into a basin of vast ruin filled crater. Your vantage provides a view of the entire city, some of its broken districts scarred by fire and flooding. Here and there, crumbled structures and massive rocks bob gently in defiance of gravity. At the city center, a delicate or desolate tower of sharp marble and graceful buttresses rise into the sky it's made all the taller by its rocky foundation which slightly floats off the ground hmm. to the southwest the crack of shearing stone sounds from a distant temple whose grounds teem with troops on the temple's roof the figure holds aloft a scepter Crackling with a familiar violet flame. A moment later, a skeletal dragon scales the temple and unleashes a screech that echoes across the city. It pauses before the figure, who climbs onto the undead terror's back. Together, they rise into the air and circle the city before flying south and out of sight. I was scared for a second. That call me good. Yeah, that's a bad. Anika? Yes. You recognize the undead dragon's rider from Calamans Catacombs. <clears throat> that is the same knight, Lord Soth, who slaughtered everyone inside. Oh, we're gonna have a fun time with that when that happens. Suddenly. Ordo, who I'm assuming is carrying the Fargab as he seems like the most likely one to carry it. You hear oh. <laughs> coming from it. Oh. Oh. And you hear the gnome that you guys saved before, Tatiana Rukodust, uh, from the camp. <laughs> Are you guys okay? She asks. Uh, and then rapidly continues. We just saw something come over the cliffs. A god's cursed dragon skeleton. We're retreating and the dragon armies are following. We'll keep them drawn out as long as we can. See if you can get whoever's in charge there. Yeah, Ordo will respond. Yeah, we're in, we're inside the city. Uh, we did see him leave as well. Be careful of that thing. That's, we know he's not a friend. Ten four. And a leopard speak to their manager. All right, we gotta go to that temple. Oh hmm. God. Which I assume is that. Yeah. We got over here. We got. You can see because you guys from your vantage point can see basically over the entire city because you guys are like right at the top of the bowl. Mm -hmm. But over here you have uh, the Temple of Paladine. You can tell, especially with Seraph, Ooh. Uh, you can see like the symbol of Paladine like still in the floor there. It's slightly flooded. Mm. Uh, we got the Threshold of Heavens, which is this giant basically floating center of the city. That's a giant tower. It's mm. more of a castle than anything. Uh, over here, you have the mansion. You can see what she was talking about. Oh. As this mansion over here actually has a lot of the troops going in and out of it, using it as a forward camp. Mm -hmm. And then over here, at the very bottom down here, this large building here, is what appears to be a large 
temple of some kind, uh, and that's where you saw the skeletal dragon and Lord Soth climb over out on the roof before he fl flew off, and you see a bunch of uh, enemy troops beneath it, like hundreds. So not going there. Uh, yeah, that's a definite. That's we... a big no. Can we from here see uh, the prison encampments? Because you know we have a friend in here somewhere locked up. Yeah. Presumably. Presumably. Many objectives. You don't uh, see anything like that. Your best chance of discovering where that is is probably going to the mansion. Mm -hmm. They're using that as a forward uh, operations base. You can get the information of where they might be from there. So it sounds like the best choices for you would either be the mansion for information or going straight to Paladine's mm -hmm. temple to try and reforge the lands. I personally think mm -hmm. it really depends on how we want to play this. So I can do at least something to heal us up quick. It would be my... It'd be a cleric spell slot, but it would take 10 minutes if that's okay if we find some place to actually duck into. Mm. I mean, because we it's... can observe from here for a little while, definitely. Yeah. It's 2d8 plus my spell casting level of healing for everyone, so hey. Oh, hey! <laughs> Hey. We both have that one. Yeah, we can both do prayer of healing. <laughs> also, welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. Hello. We're doing speedy. Uh, no. I mean, to be fair, I, I think from here we're fine as long as like someone keeps an eye out. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you that's talking that's someone talking with full HP. <laughs> yeah, I'm like half dead again. <laughs> I can't Listen, I, can keep the lookout. Yeah. Listen, I, I, this is not a full map like how the wastelands were, but this is considered an open area. Okay. Mm. It is considered an open world map, even though it's not the world. Yeah, exactly. It's, previously. it's a zoomed in map, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Also, I, I forget because I am looking at my sheet. I see like there is, we have a buff, like 15 extra max HP. I'm not sure if that's, that's something that's still active or not. Uh, that was because of aid. Uh, that lasts for eight hours, I believe. Okay. Basically, until you guys have a long rest. Cool. Okay. That's, true. that's still active. Um, if that's does. the case, uh, I, I, can, I can definitely, like, the, for safety reasons, Ordo will keep an eye out. Have yeah. Lido help out a bit with that. The mm. Lero is full HP. I made sure of that. <laughs> and uh, I, have, I have spell slots for days, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that then, like... Hi, Rendez. Welcome in. You, you guys start, like, you make sure that, like, we're as huge as possibly can. Mm -hmm. uh, me, me and Leroy will see if we can figure out a plan of attack here. Mm. See if we can notice anything else that might stand out. Yeah, we should probably look for a place um... to actually do, like, a long rest, though. Um... Nothing here. Yeah, well, no, not out here, but, like... There are plenty of abend abandoned buildings everywhere. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, maybe it's just for like just... Full, for a full eight hours of them keeping the things busy? <laughs> I mean... We could at least try, because like... I mean, I can't even rage anymore, dude. <laughs> I will tell you right now, there is no way you're doing all of these in a single rest area. In a rest <laughs> period. Yeah, yeah really? that's why yeah. I'm offering... It is, ex it is expected for you guys to rest some time in this city. I see. Okay. Mm, if that's the case... Okay. Do, do the healing thing for now anyway. Yeah, but... I, I'd say we take at least one objective then, see what we can do. If we're gonna take a rest afterwards, the smartest decision would probably be go for the temple. Because yes. the disruption of the command structure is gonna cause a ripple effect. Mm -hmm. And we kinda wanna make use of that before they can restore themselves. And we might as well go someplace where no one would want to go, especially given it's a flooded area. People mm -hmm. wouldn't want to go there normally if they were going to invade. They'd want to stay dry. So, my thought is we go to the temple first. Or heal first. Can they go to the temple? Yes. Mm -hmm. Stake out from there, like, see what we can do. Mm -hmm. Take a breather. Maybe communicate to the... to our friends, like, hey. Disengage if you can. Around like around this time, see if you can do another like small raid, like pull them away again. See if we can communicate like a little bit of information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sub subjective. So you're using the far gab again, basically to call the army and be like, "All right, you guys keep uh, keep running away and uh, distracting them. We're going to sleep." <laughs> okay. So 
Well, well, what I'm gonna communicate, like, this is gonna be a long operation back here. Uh, make yourself safe. And try to apply, like, guerrilla tactics as much as you can. We'll contact you if we need them to be pulled away again fully. Dig the trenches. Mm -hmm. The trenches. Okay. okay. They will try their best, and we will see how that turns out. Let's this go. is gonna be a long one. Yep. We'll do as much damage from the back here. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to try and attempt to take a long rest then? I really think we should. Like just find one we of the abandoned build. buildings and just rest in there. Or are you going to go to the temple first? Maybe we can get closer to the temple first at least and see... At least see what we see there. Like see if we need to okay, like actually like... So we, there might not be nobody there for all we know. Or like little, very little people there. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't know what this place is like, so... So I'd say carefully make our way towards the temple. Mm -hmm. And if necessary, take a break before we engage. If not, we can do it after. Eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone quickly roll me a survival check as you uh, go through. Right. Yeah, I'm actually decent with it. 13. I'm not terrible at these either, but... Uh, I... I am. That's <laughs> four. Oh boy, I'm scared. Okay, let me do my... The survival... Uh, where is that? Ooh, cranberries. Oh, wait. And are you guys going through sneakily? Or try? I would, I would assume so, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll me stealth as well, then. Oh, uh, my did I go... I'm... I'm wearing mithril, so I roll it normal. Hell yeah. A stealth yeah. trick. I Best have advantage <laughs> of my lovely forest shroud, so give me a moment. I like how I just keep rolling high <laughs> on terrible. stealth for no fucking reason. Oh, I'm glad I have advantage. Thank you, Cat Nasty Forest Shroud. Oh. I have disadvantage, but still rolled an 18 somehow. Let's Wait, go. Do I have anything else on me? Any attack? It's been also, a while. let me. I need to quickly check something. <laughs> no, I don't have anything else. <laughs> the giant beacon of hope. <laughs> A whole uh, night in the city of darkness. Yeah, totally inconspicuous. Mm -hmm. You forgot to bring the lead sheet from home for detect evil and good. There you go. Uh, but yeah, luckily I take averages. As you guys get through, about right here, you guys notice what appears to be a humanoid skeleton lies under a fallen aqueduct. It holds a dagger and the words, we deserve this, are scratched into a nearby cobblestone. Metal. Oh. Further on, when you guys get to about here, crossing the bridge of this river, oh, mm -hmm. shit. you notice what appears to be a library, uh, and you can see inside two cyclopses, one larger one and one smaller one, uh, a mother and a son, you can guess. And it looks like they are burning books for warmth. Luckily, mm. they do not see you as you are able to get past. Nice. You guys eventually do get to the outskirts of the temple. What do we see, like, near the, near the, near the temple? From the outskirts ahead, the water deepens into a broad pond, broken by the roof lines of submerged buildings. An embankment rising from above the water is covered in a cluster of violet leafed trees. A half-drowned ruins of a temple are visible beyond. A platinum triangle gleams on its leaning uh, belfry. Do we see any threats? Potential threats? Like people, features? Rogue librarians? Need roll any perception. Sure. One second, cause because I do have the Sentinel Shield, I roll perception with advantage. Thank you, Chaos. <laughs> so sixteen. You do not see any danger, no. Seems to be fine from the outside. Mm. Hmm. So look, do we want to head in now or? I mean... Take a rest outside first. Well, I don't think we should be just re resting out in the street, like, you know, 
Somewhere that has some we cover. We can find an abandoned building close by. Yeet. I mean, it's a temple of Paladin. I mean, surely we could rest inside as we're just going in, right? It is also flooded. I was gonna say, how flooded is? Is it walkable? <laughs> is it walkable for the four foot person? How about that? <laughs> Listen. Listen, we got we got plenty of people you can sit on the shoulders of. It's fine. There you go. <laughs> I know. Piggyback. However, I like being able to move my legs. Thank you. Water is <laughs> about three feet high and is considered difficult terrain. Okay, now. For anyone without a swim speed. Yeah, that answers that. Wait a moment, I've got fucking wild shape. What's my issue? <laughs> can you sleep like that? Like, do I sleep with wild shape? Yeah. No, it's in the water. I think she means. I mean, they're, they're I, dice bolts, I'm sure. Actually, wait, do I get a swim speed at my current level for wild shape? Hold on. I believe you guys are level eight right now? Seven. Uh, seven, okay. Uh, no, we're level seven. I'm level eight. Hmm? Hmm? I thought we were... We're level seven. Yeah. Huh. Unless we're on hilariously close to level eight or something. No, you guys should have started this chapter at level eight. Yeah, oh, that's, why I have, that's why I have three in Cleric and five in Druid. Oh. And I did not level up, I think. Oh. oh. We re sure we rolled uh, HP before. Were yeah, we supposed to level up? Oh, maybe I just didn't change the number then. Probably just didn't change the number because I remember going over it with you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. I am. I got a uh, freaking. Uh... Yeah, you you even have tavern brawler. Oh yeah, and you got shield level master. Eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got shield master at level eight. So yeah, I just didn't change the number. That's you just didn't change the number. Was all. Oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. The only oh, thing uh... I got was a couple more spell slots for cleric, but I'm going to get big stuff for cleric soon. Oh okay. Yeah, you oh. were really excited about tavern brawler because that meant you could pick up chairs and use them as weapons. Yeah. Uh, mystery solved. No. Yeah. I, I... Ba -ba -ba. And I have to say, I might have actually just forgotten to fucking do the level up on my side. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. It happens. Anyway, uh, I'm checking out Druid. Do it in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah I, I am, I am above fourth level Druid. I can have a swim speed when I wild shape. Good. Cool. Mm. Okay. Mm. <sighs> I guess we're I resting I in the temple. I gotta look through the wild shape guide. <laughs> hmm. I mean, just judging from like the exterior, can we presume that like this temple is most like most definitely flooded inside or? Yes. Okay, then probably not. Okay. Unless we can find a dry spot. Uh, we should just oh, find like a neighboring building. That would might just be better. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna go rest in a nearby building that's not flooded. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of set it up to make it look as much rubbly as possible but also as survivable mm -hmm. as possible i will say mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. easy enough you guys go find another building probably not the library with the cyclops in it burning books mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know no no instead you find like um a, a puppy orphanage puppy orphanage you go rest in there yes you find a puppy orphanage Mm -hmm. That was sadly burned to flames a long time ago in the apocalypse. Damn. Litro, how do we know it was a puppy orphanage specifically? <laughs> the uh, tiny skeletons. skeletons. I was gonna say all the tiny skulls. All the what? tiny puppy skulls. Chat. <laughs> I don't actually, I, I just want to point out, like, one of us has just specifically identified these bones. Yep, puppies. Me. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Me. Oh, dog bones. Well, I can think you can just sees them by sight and knows them instantly because she's seen dead puppies before. Oh God! <laughs> not Look, puppies. Look, not every animal in the woods is nice, and when you live in a village that happens to be ransacked on occasion by woodland creatures such as boars that would gladly eat anything, including puppies, yeah. <laughs> can't, can't believe your village was ransacked by pu wild puppies. I can't believe this. By boars. <laughs> wild puppies. <laughs> Look, it happens! They get in the crops and everyone else is fine after you just stab them with a giant spear bigger than you. I can't! Turns out kinders taste like bacon. Oh so, no! Yeah, puppies can't stay away. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I guess we, um... Wait, how does long rest work again? I forgot. Uh, you get the long rest. You, everything gets, you get everything oh. back. Oh, okay. Yeah. So full you heal. Fully, fully heal up. Um, you get half of your, um, half of your missing hit dice back. 
Oh, half of my... Oh, okay, so uh, that already happened. Up to, up, up to half of your uh, hit dice, um, that's... Yeah, so let's say if you had, like, two out of eight, eight. Mm -hmm. you'd mm -hmm. get four of them back, I believe. Okay. They're so... currently at seven, so yeah, they regain all of them. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Okay. Uh, I would get back... Uh, so I'd be back up to seven myself. I have five. Yay. Mm hmm. Mm, okay, having so all full spells. Pretty sure it does that automatically. You just hit the long rest yeah. button too. Yeah, I did. It, it basically gave me back everything. Max hit point increase does disappear now, so I'll remove that now. Mm -hmm. Um, all comes back. <laughs> also, I luckily my fucking level up to eight is just a fucking uh, ability score improvement. So let me quickly alert the lot that. <laughs> uh, um. Okay, so we don't need the temporary hit points anymore. Okay. Nope. Indeed. Angel form comes back. I don't need to decide. Do I, do I want to be smarter? Stankier? Or quicker? Yes. I can't improve my intelligence anymore because I'm already at 20. Damn, you're the smartest we have. That's... Kind of worrying. My biggest big brain. <laughs> well, yeah, my everything goes of intelligence. Yeah. Honestly, be you faster. Go for be faster. Strength or something, or you can be more resilient and go for a constitution. Be yeah, more I speed. I strength. Constitution is my other option because I already got that at three. Be so more I speed. Don't make it four. Be more mm. speed. Oh. Oh. Everything else is like a one or below. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, next level, I'm increasing something. I'm not sure what, but something needs to go up. I might grow a brain cell. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that's that's a tempting one for me. <laughs> then I'll have two brain cells. <laughs> Man, having a brain. Man, and then I'll have so I'll it. be able to have two brain cells to rub together. So they can stay warm. Or I can max out. Or I can max out wisdom. <laughs> Okay, I'm going full macho man. I'm, I'm going macho wizard. Let's go. Yeah. What ho, macho wizard? Might you cast us a spell? Sammy, do you see the new map? Do I? Uh, so... uh is it Are you the... still on the city map? Yeah, I'm still on the city map. That's what it shows me. Oh wait, it just didn't up. It didn't up. Never mind. It just didn't update on. No, okay, now it updated. Uh, it's because you were, yeah, you were off tab probably or something. I was. I just realized. It... Oh, Ooh, okay. Mmm, we're in the delicious so, waters. I have a constitution <laughs> modifier of four now, so my health with the level up together jumped up to 89. Ooh, nice. Hello, other meat shield. Yes, <laughs> yes, I am. We like can wedding heavy armor, too. We can become so you're basically I'm regular beef and you're canned beef. Awesome. <laughs> I'm, I'm canned beef. <laughs> Real yes. Uh, listen, it's fine. I. I can multitask. I can still. F Actually, do do we? Hmm. Yeah. I have the option to say, "Hey, I need to be stealthier instead of tankier." This for now. I mean, but I feel like I should be better at better at the front. Mm. To be I fair, mean... we all we tend to do really bad at bad at stealth, like as a group. Meanwhile, me, mm, my shroud of advantage. <laughs> <Stealth>. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know why See, I, I've been I good at stealth, but you know, my disadvantage on stealth if I do because I, I have I can switch to my other uh, armor mode, so I yeah, have range yeah. attacks instead of punching. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, you know, twenty one AC myself, so I could still be the tank up front if need be. Yum yum yum. Along with Semi, who's the sponge? Ye. I am a glorious mm -hmm. sponge. <laughs> sponge, two cans of meat, and the freaking Twinkie. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know what? To be fair, we probably do need a little bit more like range damage options. So mm, yeah. I'm gonna switch over to my infiltrator armor mode. Uh -huh. oh, that's great. So, uh, <laughs> as as time goes on, you see Ordo tinker with his armor, and somehow it becomes a lot more sleek. I just imagine you just take out a regular screwdriver. <laughs> it makes no sense, but it works. Oh uh, no! In fact, like his hand, like it. He don't take out like his hands, like kind of turns inwards, and like a screwdriver comes out. Ah. Welcome back, welcome back, Robin. Oh, so Scotia, I'm at 19 AC. Oh. Yeah, if, if, oh. I, if I have Shield of Faith, then it goes up to 21. 
Thank you for the subscribe. I really appreciate it. All right, so you guys finish your long rest. You all mm -hmm. eat your snacks, your uh, little zebra cakes, mm -hmm. uh, before you all come back to the Temple of Paladine, standing in front of it. See those uh, violet trees once more before Ooh, you. Ooh, pretty. As a free to move. Hmm. Wonderful idea. Just this, place would, this place would have been beautiful the way, the As way Rhino it was back then. <laughs> runs forward. Well, trees here stand shoulder to shoulder, forming a violet canopy as they climb a ring-shaped rise around the temple. It's so Sloping pretty. Sloping stone stair climb the rise. On either side, another set of stairs descends into the shallow water. However, mm. before you get too further on, this is when you would notice what you didn't notice before. Uh oh. Look up being, looking up in the beauty of this nature, up the higher branches and seeing the violet leaves as they come down, you notice a trickle of red, then a drop of red. Oh no. And in the source of that drop, as you can see the bodies of several dragon army soldiers impaled along the branches. Yummy. <laughs> oh, why? Ha. Well, if I wasn't concerned before, this is definitely how not helping. Are they going to them as, on our side? As you cross your path, you can hear in a deep, ancient voice. Each defile you sent to my gardens meets the same end. Be gone! Oh no. As you can see, a treant appear holding out their long spindly branch arms and summoning two other treants. Oh no. I was eight, I'm doing good. I'll be doing good. And you want to go lighter? Uh, I have call lightning. <laughs> roll initiative. Here we go. It's battle I time. I was going to do something first, so let's... Alright, I have initiative because a shield of like the sentinel shield, so let me just well, I have advantage, so no, not the, the, the seven, I guess. Okay, mm. seven works. Yes, I like eight. Well, I'm... I get my lumberjack music. The <laughs> fucking tree on had a net 20 on the initiative. Oh no. It doesn't fucking matter, but still. Mm hmm. It's time to change the music. Yes, it's time for the battle. Battle? But tail. I'll never know which accent I have. It's okay. Oh, that's good. Fish. That's good. That's good. Wait, is it your birthday today? Axel, is it your birthday today? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. How yep. fucking dare you be born today? Happy <laughs> birthday for my favorite digital blue smurf. Which is the nickname I have given you. Oh. No, this one's not a smurf! <laughs> eh, potato potato. Axel's the smurf, because he's blue. He's Dragon a blue smurf. he's a digital blue smurf. Yeah. No, happy birthday though. Yee. Yeah. <laughs> I think of all my terrible mental nicknames for everyone, and none of them are good. So Rhino. Oh, yeah? Rock. Ah fuck! That's enough. Oh. oh. Oh dear. So you take a rock to the face the size of a, like, the size of, like, a cartwheel. Damn, jeez. And it does 40 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, God. Okay. It's okay. Rhino's a big girl. She can handle it. <laughs> She's a big girl. The rock was bigger. <laughs> yes. You are not raging, so it is not half yet. It's a good thing you guys long rested before this. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Okay. Let me just go ahead and get that off of there. Come on, man. Okay. Uh. So that. Is... There we go. 
Just good lord. All right, I'm I'm reading it. It says multi attack. The tree makes two slam attacks. It does not say anything about rock attacks. So I'm assuming it can't get two rock attacks. Hmm. I fucking hope not. <laughs> so I'm just gonna assume that the rock just takes its whole uh, attack action. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, Duskwalker is going to stay where they are. Oh. Next up is your turn, Rhino. Well, that was terrible. So obviously I'm going to rage. Damn. Yeah, so basically this tree just said, get the fuck out of here and threw a rock at your face. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you know what? I have an axe for a reason. Damn it. <laughs> get off my lawn. Never. <laughs> bitch. I'm going to charge at it. <laughs> The Lorax isn't here to speak for us, so we have to say it. Fuck okay. It, it was so, this one who threw the rock, by the way. Hmm? That changes your direction. Wait, 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 wait. Which one did? Oh, this sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. Never this mind. One is sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get this one then. Sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, okay. that's the one that threw the rock at. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna attack that one. <laughs> uh, okay. since I rage, I can't use my flying sword, but I'm gonna do um. Great weapon master, attack recklessly with my axe. Bleh. You got it. I see, plus the minus five, that still hits. Woo! Hell yeah, and you bonus action rage before this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's why I did use the rage. Yeah. Yeah, I have a flying sword, I just can't use it right now. Anyway, that's I'm- 28 now. That is 28 points of damage. Good Eat. start. Let's see. Can you see bars? Or do I no. fuck that up? You can't? Hmm? Nope. Uh, All right, let me fix that real quick. Okay. I don't know why mine didn't update. That's weird. You can see it now, right? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, extra attack. So I'm going to attack again. Blah. Uh, Reckless um, and Great Weapon Master. <laughs> that with the minus five misses. Damn. Um, I believe that is all well, I have. It's less miss and more you get it against the tree trunk, but it actually gets stuck in the bark as several more vines suddenly curl up and more branches curl around and get like lodging it in and overgrowing it. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Uh so that I believe that's all I can actually you do. You think you can fell me? Yes. yes. I an ancient being who has been here for centuries. Just like, I just lodge it like comically. Anyway, but that's all I can do. So that's it. All right. There you go. Hey, it's the small's turn. Hey, you're a druid. Trees are your friends, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Try speaking tree to them. <laughs> I. Mm, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's an issue. I do have druidic, obviously. <laughs> uh, the water is difficult terrain, yay. So that is... If you want to try and talk druidic to him, you certainly can. Okay. Gonna just... Whatever you, however you want to do it. But would they listen to you? I'm gonna move here and just do the good old druid thing of we are here to cleanse an artifact, not to fight. <laughs> Okay. He says that's the fucking sword. Go ahead and run the persuasion with disadvantage, considering one of your companions has already taken an axe to them, yeah, and they've had to deal with humans before. They started it. That's a, that's a nine. Yeah, it's not gonna do much. Mm. I mean, you say that. Do you think making it a fourteen will be better? Uh, I don't think DM. Uh, whatever. You don't make it a fourteen. Just at least try. Uh, well. Uh, that's that my reaction there, but that's fine. There you go. Add plus five to that. That's why I want to do emboldening bond, but oh. okay. <laughs> plus five to the, your persuasion check. Okay. For a 14 total? Yeah. Yes. Okay. While you were doing the math, I went ahead and I rolled against that. Yeah, I didn't want you guys to see the results, so I rolled it on my own little tray here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You rolled that twenty, so fuck all of us. They rolled a, yeah, a plus three to their insight. 
So it's going to be an insight versus your persuasion. They rolled a six for a total of nine. Thank you. Thank you, Ordo, and this magical genius. And you have a symbol of a uh, Habakkuk on you, don't you? Uh, no, it is. Um... Oh, fuck, I keep on forgetting her name. I'm, I'm a bad cleric. Uh... You're a cleric? Yeah, hold oh, yeah, on. You both, yeah. Uh, Mishka. Yeah. The the freaking peace deity, you know. <laughs> there you go. Give me a moment. Do they actually do save a thing on here? Mm. Not a god of nature, but still. You spoke druidic, which does help. Mm -hmm. So as you do so, the like the trees turn to you and speak. Uh, also in, dru in Druidic. You speak with the tongue of nature, yet you travel with these who wear the earth about their skin. They're not the nicest person when they have nothing but people attacking them. I can tell them to at least calm down if that would at least help. <laughs> but they have, they have good hearts more than anything, I will say. If they will not disturb this garden, then I will not be obliged to kill them like I have the other. All right, we will do our best to maintain as much peace and order we can. And thank you. And with that, the trees slowly start to fade <laughs> away back into what looks to be like regular trees. Yeah, don't. Do not. Do that next time. <laughs> Do you kindly remove the axe from them? They started. <laughs> yes, but you also kind of. <laughs> Do you see the sign of that goddamn rock? Right now, right now, right, right. Now. Come here, come, come here, come here. Oh, I eat up before they fade away. Of one of the treants does uh, bend down to you. Their a uh, large wooden head comes near you and goes, Beware, small one. We are not the only those of spirit here, for a spirit of water presides in the lake beyond. Before it stretches back up and goes into full tree stance. So, uh, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you, you know, you know, you know, Cyrus is kind of like wandering up to you and like presenting like the the the, the sigil of Paladin in like one hand while p placing a hand on the other, uh, placing a hand on like on you, trying to like you know, give you like the pats, you know, like, like it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it was a big rock, but you handled like a like a like a big girl, and like it's, just, it's magically healing you as the symbol glows <laughs> for forty. So, or 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 no, just just like kind of kind of walks over. If it helps you calm down, I can let you have Ordo for a little bit. Or have you let you have Leroy for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not gonna lie. I love the fact that, like, I, I would love the idea of just, like, uh, freaking Leroy being like, you can have Ordo. <laughs> Here's a better, well, to Here's be a better fair, look. When, whenever we've been traveling, she's just been carrying me, so. <laughs> Don't Ordo can be my support, girl. Here's a better no, look at the, uh, Here's a better look at the tree, by the way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It does look hella cool. Ooh. It is. Like, or, or, but anyway, uh, order just walks up like, I... do you want to have Leroy with a little bit? Maybe, you know, that'll call it, like be a <laughs> compromise. Do you need the emotional support, Twink? Emotional <laughs> support, Twink. Just pick up Ordo instead, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Ordo just walks over, hey, you want Leto for a bit? Like, you can go help, like, stay in your shoulder for a little bit. You just pick me up instead. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just pick him, just like, hugging, like, <laughs> I will well, hug I'm, him well, and I will pet him and I will name him George. This <laughs> Ordo just gets picked up, like, well, I guess this is this is fate now. I, well, I, he, he, just, he just looks towards the desk. No. Okay. <laughs> you kind of signed up for this. Anyway, don't go into the water just yet. Mm -hmm. 
Oh. They said there is a spirit of the water in the lake over there. Great! That's not my expertise, but I can at least try something, and I guarantee you can't say <laughs> hmm. but... Inside the ring of trees, the ground lowers, creating a flooded bowl. Here, a roughly triangular temple uh, raises from the water, its north side largely crumbled in its belfry leaning. The temple's door, half covered with water, have begun... Uh, uh, have started to succumbing to rot, but their platinum inlays of the dragons still shine. I I do have an idea if you don't mind me trying it. What did you have in mind? Uh, Yaka takes out the rope from her bag, the, the normal adventures pack, ties around her waist, and hands Sarah part of it. Drag me out if anything happens. Anyway. Mm, okay. Um. I guess I'll stay on the on on here and mm. if just in case. Hey, Mono. All right. Wait, Leech, I have a question. Mm hmm. Okay, because I I kind of I don't know how this thing works. I have like bestial soul. Like, do I have to choose that at the beginning of the day or something? Uh, post it in chat real quick. Okay. Click it. There's like a little speech bubble. Uh, oh, okay. Wait. Shit. Cause I I don't I don't know what to do with this. When you finish a long rest, you can pick one. So yes, you would have to pick one. Oh. Yeah. So you can like basically. Can I pick swimming? Uh, you alter like you. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you're so tuned with the beasts around you that when you you're like partial transformation, you can either just like climb walls. You can get really good jumps. Uh, or you can grow like little fins between your toes and swim a bit better. You are now part fish. You have gills. Okay, I know. You're, you're the weirdest fucking rhino we've ever seen. <laughs> Rhino's now fish. Narwhal! Narwhal! <laughs> oh, my narwhal! So, as the Ordo is being picked up by Rhino, he notices that she, he's, she smells a little bit off. <laughs> a little bit fishy. It's a little bit. Rhinos, rhinos, swimming in the ocean. Ocean. <laughs> Were you swimming while we weren't paying attention? <laughs> I kind of forgot. <laughs> anyway. anyway. Mm -hmm. huh? Given that druidic was the thing I spoke to our good old tree friends over here. Yeah, I was gonna kind of mm -hmm. go to the edge of the water mm -hmm. and. With what she limited stuff she knows on basically holding a pilgrimage on lying on her resume to uh, Habakkuk, she's just resume? gonna kind of look. Basically, dead. She's <laughs> going to set her spear aside and just kind of stand near the water, looking at it, and it's like, okay, I don't know if this is gonna be stupid of me. Yes. But <laughs> no, no, or no, you're being choked. <laughs> yes. Is it wrong I'm now seeing like Odo's face like in between Rhino's booba now? <laughs> <laughs> well all I know is he ain't seeing shit. <laughs> the world has got dark. Oh god. Rhino has claimed her Rhino has claimed her, claimed her elf toy. I support this. <laughs> Got it from her Happy Meal, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, there's a little elf boy toy. <laughs> Sarah and Yaka go to McDonald's and just run down and just get her an elf. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. Yaka just kind of looks down and just goes, Hey, so the kind tree people back there told us that there was a water spirit in here, and I... We need to make sure a important artifact gets cleansed here. And I don't know if it means anything, but I did help with a pilgrimage for Habakkuk. They were very, very nice, and we made sure there were none of those weird, terrible frogs over there. But can you please let us go through and we'll be out of here as quickly as possible with as little trouble as possible? What language are you speaking? Uh, I guess in... 
I only know three. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, I don't. I don't... No, no four. Right, I took gnomish too. Uh, that won't really help much. But druidic is of the land. I guess common. <laughs> and then she, and just in druidic on the side, she goes, "I could take him this if you need to." <laughs> Just splash in the water and they'll figure it out. I would rather not. <laughs> There's no Look, response. Mm, does anyone speak water? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Splish splash. Uh, What's water? Oh. Splish splash. We need to crash. Like, I could speak with them just fine. She just kind of like waves at the tree slightly. But, um... <laughs> I can't do this. Um, do, you, do you need the, the javelin of investigation? I don't want to offend the water, if that's a good way to speak it. Um, Wait, is the water going to throw a rock at me? I'm just Probably. wondering if, um, like, I, I mean, this is a bit of a long shot, but I'm assuming they're acting as guardians for Paladin here. Like, would maybe me heading up forward with maybe presenting my symbol be would be more of them making an inquiry than an necessary attack on us perhaps i mean that Let's makes sense both go because mine is for peace yours is for her so hmm. i'm just here <laughs> yeah me too you two <laughs> do back up she's gonna take her rope and just <laughs> coil it back up <laughs> you two do back up because we are the ones that are... This is our forte, even though I'm not that good. <laughs> I... Order to say, I'll make sure she doesn't hit any more trees. They All started right, thank it! You. They would be really angry about it. <laughs> and I got a feeling... Anyway. I got a feeling Rhino just squeezes harder as he says that. <laughs> anyway. Ready? It... Mm-hmm. She's gonna take out her symbol and take a step in cautiously. <laughs> mm -hmm. Likewise, um, we've only just the shield in one hand, the, the symbol in the other. Yeah, she's right not holding her weapon. Right now in Ordo, you guys are just standing among the trees. Oh uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm probably gonna be like right here actually. As far away. I have no choice. Oh yeah, you're I coming have too. No choice. Yeah, you're coming too. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Does anything happen? <laughs> Seems to be okay. She's just kind of waiting along. The water was sleeping all along. Please be okay with this. We're just here to cleanse the thing. Rhino Ordo, are you guys staying there? I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. unless, uh, unless Rhino moves. Doesn't <laughs> <laughs> get like to the edge of the water. Like I'm not gonna get in the water because I, I don't trust it. it. Has to be attacked by trees and whatnot. <laughs> But that's as far as I'm gonna probably and go. Stop. Oh no. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. As coming out of the water, you see what appears at first as a giant wave you realize manifests into an animated form that of a strange water elemental. Ew as well as the water mental coming appearing out of the nowhere as if only visible when they no longer breach the surface fish. it's this large fish man with no legs beneath him just a swirling whirlpool of water where his <laughs> legs should be and it's time to roll initiative not again because you guys were warned they do not get a surprise round on you yep. okay god so I assume as things are like happening, Rhino releases Ordo. <laughs> yeah, I let go. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Like, that's a 13. <laughs> what question, does my rage carry over or does it or no? Aren't you calmed down by Sarah? No, okay, I just want to make sure. Because I'm like, okay, do I have to rage the emotional support wing calm you down enough to not be raging? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, uh Okay, 17. Mm -hmm. On me, and then uh, my initiations. The dude. 
Good. Uh, Gone woods. All right, is that a new one? I believe so. Yep. All right. And going first is the Mirid, also known as a water genie. Oh no! <laughs> And I think they're going to start off with a water jet. Hmm. What'd that do? I'm assuming it's jets water at you. Yeah. Let's see. How is he going to do this? Oh no, somebody's going to get squirted. It's a beam. (laughs) Beam goes boosh. Oh shit, it's high school all over again. God damn it! <laughs> it's gonna hit the trees! It's so weird to go. It hits the trees, they start a war. <laughs> the war begins. Oh no. Oh, no! The war of nature. Oh, no, grass types versus water types, oh no. I oh, know! He has a moving seat, I'll say he gets right here. Oh fuck. He just shimmies over. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally water from the leg down, so... <laughs> He's like, wait, wait, one second, let me readjust. Let's go. <laughs> mm-hmm. There we go, now you can hit all of you. Oh, well, shit. Mm. So I need everyone to quickly make me a dexterity saving throw. I don't we like all know those. I'm good at these, apparently. Uh, well, um, it's a good thing you, it's good thing you get... Uh, you know, 16. a buff from my, um, I was gonna say you get a buff from my charisma as well, which is plus three, so. Whoa! Uh, so you, Sounds like anything. Uh, I'll roll, uh, okay. Your buff only lasts ten feet, right, is it wrong, or? Yeah, only, uh, only around me, which, yeah. uh, so I, uh, let me, let me check. It's the aura protection. It is ten feet around me, which yeah. I need to I need to re-engage that. So I'll do that one. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm uh, sticking with sixteen. Welcome like in, hey Raiders. Succeeds. Oh, nice. So you all take half of twenty-eight points of bludgeoning damage. Woo! So that'll be so fourteen. I <laughs> use shield master. Oh god. <laughs> okay, everyone takes fourteen damage except for Seraph, who takes none. 14, okay. Well, I can pick 14 now, it's fine. Okay. I gotta get that. 25. And none of you are pushed back. Much to its dismay. Okay. As it just calls out in anger. Oh god, it's a murloc! Oh god! (laughs) Oh my gosh. I go get the look in. Mm. I sword. Except Seraph. The wood? I feel like. Mm hmm. I, I want to try and reason first. Because these are. I, like, I feel like either, either they're just squatters. Squatters? Or... They're, they're, um, guardians to Paladin's domain. So I, I want to try and appeal first. Um, could I... Because I, I, because I don't necessarily know that Paladin is about the good dragons, necessarily. Um, could I make the appeal in... Perhaps celestial, because I know Paladin being a celestial being. There's a better look of him, by the way. E- look at those eyes. fucking crusty ass lips, though. Oh my god. <laughs> <Jamanda> the dick. <laughs> I will, like, he- attack him with all of the chapstick. I was about but to he say, was get on that Jimmy Magazine of- as the hottest her folk in the land. <laughs> get him some fucking chapstick right now. Like, That's he needs the entire fight. jar of Vaseline, like, goddamn. <laughs> Yeah, like, I want to appeal in- I want to appeal in Celestial saying... Um, how do I want to word this? Um... 
sing Latin at him. We are here to appeal for, for Paladin's blessings. We require entry. Um, as I'll present the, the holy symbol of Paladin. I take it like it's not making a difference. <laughs> you tried. No. That is, is that your action? I'm, I, that's up to you, DM, because I have no control over this. How enthusiastic are you going to try and be, going about this? Uh, I mean, if he's not paying attention, then I'm not, I mean, at that point, I've tried. <laughs> hey, you start off with talking Celestial, but before you can even finish, you can see training, you're just like, ah, fuck it. Wait, does this say Jamar the Dick? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, at that point, um, the, the holy symbol that's around my neck, I'll basically just have left, uh, I'll like, leave it hanging and instead pull out the, uh, the sword of edginess. Let's go! Fucking uh, cut off Jamar's dry ass fucking lips right now. Let's go! <laughs> He's a bit of a dick. Mm. Listen, uh, yeah, you know fucking, what? I don't understand how a water genie has dry lips. Just putting it out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm coming to you, dude. not an elemental water plane. Oh. Uh, just, just shove a jar of Vaseline at him. I will cast as a bonus action, I believe, if that's correct. Um, oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, but I'll just use the spell description. That's fine. There we go. Uh, Thunder Smite, bonus, uh, bonus action. I apply it to the, uh, thingy of edginess. I will then proceed to... wait... Hold on. Squire Salamia, do I... Once per turn when you... okay, when I make it... yeah, okay. So, I want to make my first weapon attack with the booming blade, uh, with the Sword of Edginess. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Ye. Uh, and because I'm doing so, I would like to do so with advantage because of the uh, the Squire Salamia. So I will attack with advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. You, that, that, I, it really that, is the sword is. that is approaching. Let us go. Squire Precision. Uh, so you get an extra yeah. D8 from Squire Precision. You get mm -hmm. the damage from your Thunderous Smite on top of that as well. And you get an extra 14 slashing on top of that because you rolled a natural 20 and the dice are doubled. Ooh, damn. Oh so that's, that's the nice. double D8 from the uh, Squire and also the double, oh, is it also D8 from the Thunderous Smite? Or no, it's yeah. 2D6, so now it's 4D6. I I'd like to point D6. out, you, you start talking, decide it can't fucking understand you, so you make it understand the blade. <laughs> that's very true. Um, so I was basically, any to... dice that are in that equation are doubled. Damn. Okay, cool. In that case, I've got Squire's Precision. That's fine. Um, and you know it's a crit, so fuck it. I guess I'll throw in a Divine Smite while I'm at it. <laughs> Why not? Fuck not? <laughs> Let's go. Double all that dice. Ah. This, is, this is what oh. Paladin Smites are made for. This is where you put in, like, uh -huh. okay, yeah, that's my max that, level spell slot. I just imagine well. this thing is, like, uh, rude, and then she just bitch slaps into another dimension. <laughs> And you do still get to roll on d20 to see if you lop off a fucking limb. True. Um, so, okay, so I'll need to do the Thunderous Smite separately, but I've got everything. I think. Yes. So I'm good to What uh, level smite are you doing? Level one. You're not doing a max level one? Get the, since it's all double dice? In instantly, honestly, as rough fucking kill it. You know, you're you know, fine. Sm we're doing let's smite go. Two, one oh. it's, 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 yes. it's funny. Let, let's is level let's two your next level? Yes. Oh. Paladins are not full casters. They're not even half casters, I forget. They're like one, one shot casters. this bitch right now. Do it, do it. He's quartered on us. Kill him. <laughs> okay. Um, just need to make sure as well. Um... Oh, I can saw out the rest later. I'm going to roll for the attack now. E. Aww. That's a bit piss poor. A lot of ones in there. Yep. That's some oh, unsorted damage then roll we have the, Yeah, then we have the uh, 4d6 as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. And also the Thunder Smite as well. No, that's the 4d6. Yeah, so 4d6. Eh, that's solid. Yeah. And your so Divine we... Smite as well. Uh, that's already been counted. Where? Uh, let's see. 3d8 from Smite. Hey, you uh, do get a... 
Flat 14 oh. from your sword as well. Oh yeah, I need to roll one more d8 from Squire Precision, so that's fine. And uh, the flat 14 slashing damage from your oh, sword. Oh no, 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 scratch that. It's already done. It's already done that doubles. That's fine. And then uh, you said the the 14. Did you say? Yeah, 14. There's a flat 14. Yeah, it's flat, flat 14. 14. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna get on my calculator real quick because I don't feel like doing math. Me so plus, plus, plus nine plus. 14 plus 13 plus a uh, flat 14 on top of that. That is 78 points of damage. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. And, hold on, it's not done. Because we're gonna roll a d20 to see if you lob a limb off. 10. <laughs> no. Damn. That would have been funny. That would have been pretty Just funny. Fuck up all the bitches. Yeah. And take off nearly like a third of his health, like in one hit. <laughs> And you know what the funny part about this is? Hmm? Please explain I... Azura hmm? how Seraph does that. <laughs> um, just like the fact that like this thing is like after she like opens her mouth and like starts speaking Celestial going, we're here on, on behalf of, uh, on, of um, ha uh, what was it? <laughs> as, as you just you know what it start speaking Celestial, it just looks like and goes, and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it interrupts you. There you, you go. Fucking ass for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, and then she, like, like her kind of me, it just suddenly turns very sour, and she takes the sword and just, you know, with thunderous smiting, <laughs> just like freaking like, lo like lops him. He's <laughs> like, I want the done Ordo. talking. <laughs> Ordo makes a mental note to never interrupt Sarah or Sarah while she's speaking. Yeah. She's like, you. Dick, and then you just do like a anime slash, and you see there's like a slight hesitation over suddenly his entire body shifts and splits into two before bursting into water and reforming. <laughs> now of him suddenly like, holy shit! <laughs> uh, and that was your first attack. Yeah, I would say because you have an extra attack. I think he's pants. Because I have extra attack. No crits. No crits. No crit. I I, sa I sadly can uh do advantage again this time, so it'll just be a straight roll this time. Mm. Unless... An edge. Um, one, two, three... I... I technically could? Um... Because one, two... I have enough movement to get behind him, but is that flanking, or do I need to be here for flanking? You need to be here for flanking. Figured, Which, okay. There's no kind of flanking? Mm. No, but... No, no. Yeah. Um, okay, in that case, um, I mean, at this point, I probably would do it anyways, because it'll get me nearer to the door. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll move there at least. But then I'll do, um, I'll do a normal roll, because I can't do enough advantage right now. 24. That hits. Woo! Oh, ignore the radiant. Ignore the radiant. I forgot to turn this off. So 12. <laughs> yeah, just 12. I forgot to turn on the death ray. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to turn off my death ray. <laughs> Meaning, so you did 78 before, that means you do 90 damage in one turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. And to, and to no. think, I'm not even in my angelic state yet. Ew. You know, my other players on my hardcore game of this of this module we're like, how the fuck did they kill that black dragon? And now <laughs> they, they, yeah, they can just look at this, they'll understand why. <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, much. Uh, 74 damage or so. Seth so wasn't hit. there, though. Yeah. I know, I mean, we've become stronger. <laughs> in a single attack. A very hooky barbarian. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And, I'm a, and a fucking tanky twink. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We don't even have a whistle. Well, actually, actually, just to be on the safe side, I won't <laughs> move entirely away because then that way Yang can still benefit from my saving throws if I move here. So oh, I'm gonna run away like a little pussy bitch. Oh, okay, I'll move here then. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a thing for that, don't worry. All right, if that's the end of your turn, next up is Rhino. There I am. Uh, Azure, I'm gonna PM you something real quick. Oh, okay. All right, so I am like um, some type of fish thing. And so that means my speed is like the same. So I can I can get up to this thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna get up to this thing. Uh, you uh, you shark boy your way through the through the water. If I shark boy my way over there, I'm gonna rage again. 
today. <laughs> okay, so that's right, uh. Reaching out of water. I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna. No mercy for you today. Uh, reckless. Let's see, um, great weapon master, reckless attack because I just have no fucks today and. Where? Twenty-three minus five, then, right? Yeah, that's right. So that would be eighteen, which is enough to hit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One of the best combos of the game. Twenty-three. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and him still recovering from that epic anime slash from Seraph. Yeah. You're just like, all right, time to come up. I have to Actually, you probably didn't even need to do reckless. Mm -hmm. You probably didn't even need to do reckless because Seraph is flanking with you right now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm just going to... That, you you, that means you still get advantage. Oh. You don't have to worry about them getting advantage on you. Oh, okay, I cool. Forgot. I, oh, I completely yeah. forgot the thunder. Uh, it needed to do a, uh, a saving throw earlier. It'll be pushed 10 feet away. I completely forgot about that. Can we oh. still go with that? Okay. Yeah, sure, if you wanted to hold I back mean, on the spell, I don't see why not. Yeah, I okay. mean, I, I completely forgot about it, to be honest, and it's better this way. That's a natural 20. <laughs> Oh, here we go again. Yeah. Here's, it's another block dragon situation. Getting <laughs> fucking every every character is getting a natural twenty. There we go. Even funnier. I can just channel the bit. Twenty three. Uh, I need to roll. Uh, mm -hmm. You get to roll uh, two more d12s because uh -oh. you're a barbarian. You get yeah. uh, improved critical. Two d. Or do you not have that yet? Wait. Uh, what's what what the what thing would that be? One d12, right? Do you have improved uh, critical yet? Um, I don't I believe so. Let me look. I'm now checking. One second. Uh, ah. You get brutal critical at level nine. Oh, okay. So next level. So yeah, just one more d12, please. Okay, one more d12. One second. Because yeah. damage from a uh, weapon master rage also doubled or not? Uh, no, only the dice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you go. Sixty. And D &D, it's only the, it's only the dice. Mm -hmm. Twenty-eight damage. There you go. Uh, that's a that's a d20. I need a d12. Oh, oh yeah. God damn it. Once again. Try again. It's fine. Get a better roll, maybe. Never mind. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well. Twenty-four. The punishment for me here was. Twenty-four damage is still twenty-four damage. Still twenty-four damage. <laughs> yes. There you go. Um, and those are my two attacks and a movement. What's so yeah, I'm done. Uh, that's a total of forty-seven damage in a single attack. <laughs> You guys are rocking this dude. Or no, it's your out. turn. This guy squirted water on us, and this <laughs> in the turn, in the same like 12 seconds, has taken 138 points of damage. <laughs> and we're not done yet. Nope. You guys because can see uh, so far. He, he is getting fucked. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah. oh no, uh, because he's in the infiltrator now, he's not gonna run over to punch it. That's not any use. What he is gonna do <laughs> is this. Like oh, launcher. <laughs> yeah. Good, good use of that gear. Thank yeah. you. That makes me happy. Uh, oh, you know what? I completely mm -hmm. forgot. Um, he... He's weak to lightning, isn't he? No. Oh. But um, uh -oh. The, the, water. The, um, the water elemental he has was from a conjure elemental spell. Oh, Which wait! Which means on that first attack, he would have to make a fucking saving throw. There's no way he's making that! There's no oh. way he's making, what was the total damage again? Like, 78-something? Yeah. Okay. So the DC would be up in the mid-30s? He's <laughs> <laughs> making that, that water elemental's gone. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. Seraph completely obliterate this guy with their first anime slash. But when she did so, apparently the water elemental got so scared he was like, nope, I'm out, and just splashed down into regular water. Oh. Seraph should be like, fucking die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry, Ordo. I just remember that. That's uh, so that funny. Is a 10 to hit? Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't even get hits. No, that doesn't hit, sadly. Uh, that's fine, though, because, uh, you know, I still got this. <laughs> extra attack! <laughs> oh, 15 hits. 15 does not hit, sadly. Fuck. Damn. Well, uh, Leroy, get him! <laughs> <laughs> if Leroy gets a, if Leroy gets a uh, hit, uh, I, I swear to God. Say, 
I was gonna say, uh, I, was, I, was, I was gonna like say Leroy was gonna get a critical. But that would be funny. Leroy runs in. He doesn't fly. He runs in. Oh, he runs in. He doesn't fly. He runs in straight into the water. Oh no! <laughs> Leroy, I forgot. Why? I forgot to, yeah, that's why it's a critical failure. I forgot nice. to Leroy on board. There we go. Oh, that's fine. Uh, he tried. Uh, that's you know. I could use a charge of lucky, but I don't think I need to. I, I feel like me not doing damage for the turn is okay. Yeah, but what about a lucky for Leroy? Leroy can't use my lucky, right? <laughs> That'd be fun if he could. He's part of you. Is he stealing my luck? Oh no! I mean, lucky, Every everyone else is stealing your luck, so why can't he? He's get <laughs> do it, do it, give, give Leroy your luck. I'm fucking off tonight. I'll say Leroy is epic enough to steal your luck. Yes, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I steal my luck. I don't get a choice. <laughs> yes, we got to <laughs> do it, do it. You control Leroy, so you get to control Leroy steal your luck or not. Uh, it's, it's not going to be valued. I want to get it back and load us, though. Do it for I the lulls. <laughs> only, only if DM gives me a free charge of lucky. <laughs> no. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> that would be just to see what would happen, though. Sure. Cool. So if I did do it, let's have a look. Uh, Leroy. Watch it be a crit. That would be ben, so fucking no, no, fun. So Damn. <laughs> that would be so right. funny if it was. Uh, I would have cried. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. So I, I think I should miss this because, you know, I'm not used to shooting water. There you go. <laughs> You're just on the edge of the lake being like, you guys got this. <laughs> it, listen, it's been a couple days since I used the fucking lightning launcher, okay? I'm too used to punching people. <laughs> you're scared to step into the lake because you're scared of going to electrocute yourself? You're not sure you waterproofed your armor? <laughs> I, I'm not sure that, I'm not sure if they're, if they're like, ready for like getting shocking. I need to be careful here. Mm. Aika. After seeing what is basically just telling the big old fish man to fuck off, boy, how am I gonna pass that up? You know? Oh, I've got some dumb ideas to roll with. All right. Bonk. No, Yay, I don't bonk. have anything to bonk with. I stab with. Uh, <laughs> just shank him. Uh, yeah, I just did the calculation and looked up back at what you did. You did 78 damage divided by two of the DC would have been 39. There's oh no my God. <laughs> for a concentration check. <laughs> The sheer fact that you managed to do that was great. That was so funny. I love it. Um, uh, what level should I cast this at? You know what? I feel like a gambling sort of fox right now. Fucking paladins. <laughs> uh, guiding Bolt will be lovely to be cast on you. you and I'm might upcasting have that. You might have disadvantage to hit out of this range. Yeah, point blank range attack is going to be a disadvantage. Oh, don't worry. I've got a thing for that. Bonus action. <laughs> Shot more. I don't give a fuck. I'm going Bonus right up, going right over here, 30 feet. <laughs> oh, in fact, you give yourself advantage. There you go. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So I get advantage of the attack now. <laughs> oh, hello. Thank you for reminding me. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, let me make sure I have advantage on. All right, good old. 24! 24 hits. Oh my and god. And that will be... It is... What is it? Uh, working 5d6 and anyone who has who attacks us has advantage on it. So enjoy your delicious amount of 11 damage. I'll take it. But, oh, so many ones. Hey, Seraph, next turn you have advantage on the hit. <laughs> I think I, I think I have advantage on the hit regardless, because um, I'm I'm flanking with Rhino now. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> if it's nice so. to move though. Yeah. You get that uh, sweet sweet opportunity attack crit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also, it has light around it, like some sort of fairy fire esque thing. It can't be hidden. <laughs> no. Okay. True. It just is covered in fucking glitter. <laughs> oh God! This poor fucking guy. <laughs> That'll be my turn. Thank you very much to my TED Talk. <laughs> Give up. 
That's about what we're saying. Just give up. That's the best choice. Look how much damage you guys did to him in one round. <laughs> he should he fucking hear us. kicked him over in his own damn house. <laughs> and we're just basically wanting his lunch money. We're literally so that meme where they're just kicking that one guy. Gun. <laughs> he technically wasn't supposed to do this until he was at 20 HP. But... Actually, can you send me a picture you, of this water guy, please? Would... Huh? Can you send me a picture of, like, the water dude? I'm gonna do something. I don't know, I'm getting <laughs> fucking just bald by the, like, the freaking JoJo meme. Yes! <laughs> I can't do the gif, but I'm at least gonna do the image. <laughs> uh, give me a second. <laughs> oh, I found him. Park. This oh, you great. find him good? Okay, then I don't yeah, have to, I, to Yeah, I'll I don't fucking adore this. Mm. Uh, yeah, he wasn't supposed to uh, run away until he was at 20 HP, but I don't think he'll survive until then. <laughs> <laughs> until his next round. Uh... He's covered in glitter, got cut three times in half, and got fucking shot just... so many times. Just be aware, yeah. Semi does have sentinels. So... Yeah! <laughs> So he's just gonna be like, mm -hmm. and just plane shifts. Oh, he plane shifts, bitch! Damn, he's just getting out of the dimension altogether. He's <laughs> just running home to his giant frog mom. <laughs> so yeah, I, like we I said, tried peace. It, it says he doesn't try that until he's at 20 HP, but like I said, I don't think he would survive. <laughs> Probably no not. <laughs> he knows to fear us. <laughs> like, oh, he had so many cool spells I was going to use. No, he's just gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Listen, he should, he should have raspberry done me. Like, that's insulting. Like, exactly. Especially someone who wants to go to her temple. <laughs> that was traditional of a greeting. Well, he interrupted her. That's the real issue. He was yeah. rude. Exactly. Yeah, he's very rude. Mm -hmm. Or, or no, or no, like as is going on, like Leroy, come back here. <laughs> Grabs him. Oh god. No to the both of us. Never interrupt her while she's speaking. Just yep. Mm. <laughs> Never interrupt anyone. It's rude. Exactly. Just, and I, the Leroy just like this little like salute, Leroy. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know this is gonna be a running joke now, right? Uh, she, 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 like, just like during a conversation now, like as she's just trying to speak, she's gonna turn to you, like each one of you, like every time you guys interrupt her. Might as well be slowly drawing her sword. <laughs> as I was fucking saying. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, anyway. I guess Ordo's slowly gonna make his way into the fucking water, hoping he doesn't sink like a brick. Don't worry, I'll it's just carry you. deep, right? Oh, so so what I'm gonna... Uh, did I know she's grabbing Ordo again? Yeah, you're just gonna get Princess carried, like, all right, come on. Okay, well... well I, I... <laughs> we don't want you getting rusty now, do we? Exactly! Come on, let's go! <laughs> I... <laughs> Terrible. Anyway. Anyway. We ready? Yep. Leroy's just laughing at me again. Peace was never an option. Exactly. There's a PNG image. Except when it is. Better, by the way. Oh, okay. Instead of the boy in the background. Mm hmm Thank you. Oh my god. Yes. I, we tried peace. We really did. They said no. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like I said before, uh, these doors uh, partially submerged. Uh, I would need a strength check to see if you can even open them because they are just been rotted by, away by some of the water. Uh, oh, the, yeah, platinum, <laughs> the platinum uh, overlay, by the way, though, is still uh, roughly there, so you are able to get a rough look at like the platinum dragon motif that's still on it. Strength check. Mm -hmm. uh, Easy enough to get your <laughs> barbarian advantage. As you just basically... <laughs> I was, like, was 13. I was gonna be like, can I rage on the door? I, uh, wait, hold on. So then you're getting me like, you know, you're just bashing me into the door. <laughs> no, I just I kick it in. Your hat, Ordo. I just kick it in, there you go. Oh, uh, inside, murky water covers a triangular chamber to the east. Uh, this large hall narrows to a raised area with an altar 
the north side of the building is a uh, tangle of fallen stone and beams, and the south side holds two doors. Can you imagine, like, the trees just saw all that shit go down and be like, huh, well, hmm. <laughs> Glad we didn't fight that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, hello, hello, welcome in, welcome in. They're just making fun of the one guy. You threw a rock at that. You should be fucking happy. <laughs> they, they, were, they were nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to restrict you guys' sight so you can see the whole fucking map. Whoops. Oh, well. You see everything. That details. It's fine. I'll have to fix that for the other map. I, mm -hmm. I might have made the same mistake. Mm. Yeah, you're good. Um, so I imagine, like, after sheeping the sword again, and once again, holding the symbol of Paladin, <laughs> pr proceeds to head on in. Mm hmm It's fine. Uh, uh, as, as orders being carried, he's just aiming his lightning launcher around for anything that pops up. <laughs> I think, or at least safe-ish, we weren't told about anything else, just one water spirit, so we should be okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe so. Anyway, Yaka's got the lance. Well, yep. broken lance. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, this is your home away from home. You can lead the way a bit. Yeah. Um, Im immediately looking about the place, um, what can I gather from this room? There's a lot of water. Well, <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, this just seems to be the flooded entryway. Uh, this is likely where a lot of the pews once were. Uh, However, the tide has likely come in from where there is no longer a whatever material may have been in here out. Hmm. Uh, there is a pew at the very top, though, that does have a separate description. However, you can't fully see it, despite what the map looks like. You know, those are walls there. Gotcha. Um, I will proceed to approach that first, because that seems like the, the first point of interest to Seraph. Okay. Well, are you three coming? Oh, right. Yep. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't really have a choice at this point, do I? Yep. Aika. Yes. As you're walking, you fall into a pit. Oh, well. As suddenly the ground beneath you gives way as you fall into a pit trap. Luckily, the water prevents you from taking any damage. But as you're down there, you can see what appears to be mummified remains of several priests. There's some of your friends down here that are ex-friends. Yay. Mm. Oh, that sounds very problematic. Why would they put a trapdoor in a place like this? That's highly impractical. I hope they had a way of disabling it. Yeah, can you get me out? Yes, come here. Uh, <laughs> it's easy enough to swim up. Yeah. Swim up, you say? <laughs> I could be a terrible, terrible person. <laughs> Should I? I mean, if it's funny. It is fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I can swim up there, right? Mm-hmm. I was even cool. debating how to swim up. Uh, mm -hmm. Suddenly, the mummified corpses of the priests start to move. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, 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 no. As one comes up out of this pit, one starts to come up out of this pit, and two start coming up out of this pit. Of course. I know you might want to. You, you might want to let me stand here. All righty, all right, I'll let you go. Okay. <laughs> Set phasers to divine. <laughs> However, as they come up, you can see they all still wear uh, the clergy of Priest of Paladine, some of them still having their symbols. And as they come up, these mummies see the symbol on Seraph. And they see that you are allied with Paladine. As they are getting ready to reach out and attack the intruders once they see that you're with Paladine. They slowly start to reset and go back into their watery graves. Oh. Okay. Well, it looks like they're reasonable. <laughs> they heard what happened then outside. Looks at the symbol and utters like um, some kind words. Thank you, oh Paladine. Two of three being nice to us isn't that bad. <laughs> they just heard what happened out there. They're like, you know. 
<laughs> I, I'm assuming before you say that, you make sure to be out of the fucking hole. <laughs> yeah. I was going to do something funny, but I'm... <laughs> yeah, I could be too bit shocked to do so. Not mm. in the mood to spook. Because it'd be fucking funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> but no. Uh-huh. Anyway, as Ordo starts, uh, now that he's actually on the floor, starts walking forward slowly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless he gets interrupted and grabbed again. <laughs> Maneuver away from the pits. <laughs> she she turns back to the rest of the party. I'm at least the third time's a charm. I mean, I mean, I mean it's not every day that um, the mummified remains of uh, priests uh, decide to actually go back um, go back down instead of um, straight out attacking us. Yeah. At least they were nice about it. The jerky mm -hmm. boys were very nice. Mm -hmm. These ones didn't throw a rock at us first, at least. They were like, hey, yo, that homie over there has uh, our, our gang symbol. Well, yeah, we good. <laughs> Thank, you, Leecher, for getting my Thank you, Leecher, for getting the reference anyway. Mm -hmm. They appreciate the drip. <laughs> I can't believe the fucking Church of Paladine is just a fucking street gang. I can't. Oh my so god. This is where you go to worship? <laughs> Sarah is just throwing gang signs at the fucking mummies. I can't. Yeah, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> if she goes for warlock for like slushy warlock and gets Eldritch Blast, she just pulls out a gun. There you go. <laughs> As you yeah. approach, the stone step rise from the water to a dry platform bearing a triangular stone altar. Sculpted reliefs near the altar depict platinum dragons in majestic poses. Hmm. Dry land? Don't mind if I do. Ew, dry land. Oh. Mm. She approaches. As you enter the area, you gain the d distant impression that the dragon sculptures are watching you. You feel suffused with a warm sense of righteousness. And as you approach the altar, a dim light rises from it. Oh. Ooh. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Sarah will clutch her um, holy symbol tighter and proceed to kneel at the altar. Um, kind of closing her eyes and giving a... and, and kind of like in self-thought. But she clutches the symbol um, with both hands this time, setting the shield down on on the floor. Or oh, just like kind of not just do we follow suit or? Um. Yeah. Yeah. So Ordo, like out of respect, at least like kneels down as well. Mm hmm. Kneeling, yeah. Anything yeah. You no, know, not really possible with. Yeah. There we go. Be peaceful. Be kind. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And after like a silent moment. Um, she'd like to speak up. Oh, Lord Paladine, we have come here on a quest, um, to... Uh, actually, hold on, what the, hold on, before I do this... <laughs> uh, I, I want to get my story You're straight. Like, hold on, God. <laughs> wait, wait, get the key cards, get the, get the key cards! <laughs> hold on, hold on, God, I know you're, like, busy, you know, but let me read the script. <laughs> Say, wait, I have, I have cards for this, I have cards for this! Hold on, I need to look at my bibble real quick. <laughs> it's, it's been a while. Um, so I'm just trying to like remember everything that Seraf would know. Mm -hmm. not Ronnie. Um, so so far, as far as Seraf's aware, um, she just realized that uh, that we have like a dragon slaying weapon in our possession or some shit. Mm -hmm. uh, a weapon I mean, that has been kit. You would know what a dragon lance is. A dragon lance is like a, a like a famous childhood story it's like as famous as excalibur it's like it's one of those types of legends that, about it fabled weapons from back in the day that were said to be uh held by heroes by dragon riders to fight back against evil mm -hmm. ah, against evil right gotcha yeah. oh against oh, the Lord tyranny Adam. of uh the evil dragon queen and stuff like that mm -hmm. oh lord paladine we have come here to Wash away the sins of a of a relic that has been used to slay the, that of our, of your own kind, of your of your children. We 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 wish to make use of this um, um this treasure, this heroic weapon, so that we might fight against back um fight back against the the tyranny of, that is of of your um, other half, your sister, and your nemesis. 
We ask for your blessings. The light feels beckoning as if ready to take something in. Mm. All right, I've got the lance. Mm. She looks up and gives and gives Ayika the, the nod. All right, but gives the light the lance. Then <laughs> she's just kind of. As you hold out the lance and put it into the light, it begins to hover midair, defying gravity. The lance on the altar begins to suddenly shine with a silvery glow. The rust covering the lance bubbles and leaks a dark liquid that flows away from the altar and disappears. At the same time, the spear lengthens, growing into a whole newly forged pike-length dragon lance. Ooh, roll credits. From, from nowhere and everywhere comes a powerful voice that inspires confidence in all. The last to wield this weapon was unworthy. His failure was stepped along the path to the world's destruction. But this new age needs new hope. Use this weapon to defend the destiny mortals have chosen. Banish the shadow of the Dragon Queen with the light of this most sacred weapon. With the blessings of the god, ye champions reclaim the Dragon Lance. Sarah, if you know this to be the voice of Paladine. You can see um, Seraph uh, very visibly taken back <laughs> as you can probably tell she's currently fangirling right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just see like, ah, oh, yes, thank you very much. Meanwhile, on the hands, like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, the, the, the lens, does it like float back down to us? Like, because if so, Ordo is grabbing that. Oh, God. Hey. Because. This thing has repaired itself, and he is completely enthralled it's by okay. how this worked. He is nerding the fuck out. You're gonna look at that later! Divination, now then. How the hell? Wait, hold, uh, hold divination. on. Divination, divine magic, now then. How does that work? Hold on, but wait, hold on. So if that's, Do you that want was, to as, know? Because we know! As the voice finishes, a burst of light flails out. Oh. All in the room. Get the effects of a long rest. Yay! Oh, Woo! I'm not well, look at this. So, so all I get back is my flash of genius, single charge. Let's go! <laughs> I, I get some HP, I get some very tasty spells. Oh, actually, yeah, HP, good. yeah. Ooh, I get my one hit dice back. <laughs> and also, mm -hmm. um, uh, another use of my, uh, precision strike. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna have full hit dice now. And Sammy can rage again. Yay! <laughs> suddenly, uh, suddenly Rhino feels extra angry today. There you go! <laughs> no, actually, oh, they finally calmed down a little bit. Yeah! As I so you all receive the Dragon Lance, a legendary weapon. Ooh. Your Dragon Lance is a renowned weapon forged mm. from rare metals, the aid of powerful artifacts associated with Bahamut or Paladine in this universe. Mm. Different lances are forged for use by foot soldiers as pikes and by riders as lances. The one you have before you is a pike. What's the difference? I do not have uh, However, A lance no matter... specifically for riding, a pike is for like spears and stuff. Hmm. For the magical properties though, are all the same amongst all the dragon lances. This one is a plus three weapon. Mm. Uh, and among it, when you hit a dragon with this weapon, the dragon takes an extra 3d6 force damage, Ooh. and any dragon of your choice that you can see within 30 feet of you can immediately use its reaction to make a melee attack. Oh. Oh. So That's we can my... just command the fuckers? If they're on our side, I assume. If they are on your side. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to make all of them our bitches. <clears throat> So you have to be willing. It's not in mind control. <laughs> we just mm -hmm. can't mind control. You the say that, however, if you stab them enough with a magic lance, <laughs> the magic <laughs> fuck you stick. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, due to due to Paladine's blessings, he's um, naturally restored the weapon. But now begs the question of who would make the best use of it. 
Not me. I can't use this. I am tiny. I am small. Mm. Uh, also, my token disappeared. Oh, no! Uh, I can still see you on my end. I yeah. do not. <clears throat> oh. I'm very fresh. Okay. Mm. Um... And Rhino? Mm. Yeah? Um... What about you? Are you... able to use this weapon? Is it cursed? No, it's <laughs> the opposite of cursed. <laughs> I mean, hmm. I mean, yeah. Do you want it? Because you're very much stammering a lot about it. Hmm. Do you? I don't know. The weapon of your god. At least try it. Imagine that beautiful. <laughs> oh, no, story. no, 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 no. It's not that. It's not that. Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, it, look, I've only just, like, gone to this, this epic journey with you guys. And Here's it's a picture, like... by the way. Ooh, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. It does look hella cool. Oh shit! So oh. you you like starting? Spear. So I was gonna say mm -hmm. you starting like I've only started this energy just now. Ordo says doesn't matter. You did you not see what you just what you just you're helping us a lot here. Mm -hmm. And if this helps you, this is your god for crying out loud. Yeah, you're you're the one speaking to him. Mm. Take it. If he has figured well. out something, if he figured out a better way to use it later, we'll do it then. For now, it's... you take care of it. Exactly. <laughs> Besides, if you can Very leave well. it in my hands, eventually I'm just gonna throw like a javelin. So. Yeah, I that... don't think we want to hand this that I know. In that case, I have a an idea. Do you mind if we take an hour? Sure. Nope. And then we hand it to Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> we give it to Leroy. <laughs> so, um. Mitra, would it take an hour to for me to detune and then another to retune uh, my sort of edginess? <laughs> uh, are you trying to attune the spear uh, rather than this? Yeah, so I'm trying I'm trading out the attunement for the uh, for the spear uh, instead of the sword, and I'm thinking Rhino, mm -hmm. uh, unless unless um, Ordo can make use of a long sword. I can use long sword. I just. I just haven't up until now, but I could do it. Mm. I, I you think... Your... Oh no, it is... You well, can't use it, it's two-handed, so yeah, definitely you, your um, great weapon master will work with a longsword. Yeet. Mm -hmm. Besides, the more weapons, the more hilarious I am. It's a very I... edgy sword, by the way. One that a barbarian would totally use. <laughs> yeah. It's totally a katana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure if I use any other weapon than my built-in ones, I can't use my intelligence for my <clears throat> weapon attacks. Every weapon makes you dumb. In that case, um, uh, Rhino, mm -hmm. uh, seeing as um, you guys went to great lengths to give me this weapon, I, I suppose it would be an appropriate trade if I was to receive the weapon of my lord that I give you this. As she then proceeds to hand out the sword of edginess in its scabbard. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dumbass just grabs the blade like an asshole. But anyway, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, there goes the fingers. <laughs> it's like, it'll, t it'll take an hour for you to attune to it. Okay. But I think it will serve you well. I mean, it we certainly served me well. Okay. Mm -hmm. how, do I, how do I add this? <laughs> Give me a moment. Okay. This is, this is stuff I have to do. Oh, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> so in that case, I will, I will proceed to uh, remove the sword of edginess from my inventory. Mhm. Mm you're lucky you're not getting better today, Kitty, because Rocky's up there. Nah, I got the plus three pike. Huh? There, yeah. Huh? 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 <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. I'm stopping bullying. I don't need to agree to that. <laughs> okay. It's okay. So then I can do. I can I'll just I'll just butter him in the DMs. Attacks. He can't escape me. Oh. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, don't do it while I'm there. I'm gonna it's gonna get double action there. I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to get butter. Don't make me a buttered sock. <laughs> I know. Hi, Carly. Okay. okay, there we go. I'm just gonna use this one. This will be fine. And sort of sharpness. <clears throat> oh no, I already got it. All right, cool. Yeah, I already got that. Um. And if I'm remembering correctly, the pike is a is a solely two-handed weapon, correct? Yep. Oof, I'm gonna not be able to use my shield for a while. Oh, it'll be fine. You well, just... 
I mean, I do have my regular longsword, so that's still fine. I talk with I'll pull out what, whenever I, I feel like is appropriate. There you go. <clears throat> they can be all thematic and stuff. <clears throat> Come on, and you right probably can make a modifier that's like 3d6 versus dragons. Mm. Yeah, I could do that. Global damage modifier or something. Mm. So you also, just I, on and off. I do want to uh, point out, I can't yeah, believe her rhino's going through their goth phase right now. <laughs> this eyeliner oh, comes out of nowhere. No. You know, I'm going to call it dragon force. There you go. There dragon you go. force damage. There you go. I, I need... It's fine. Every time she swings, you swing that thing, <clears throat> fucking fire and the flames comes on. <laughs> <laughs> I just become progressively like more ridiculous as time so goes on. So when you attack with it, are you going to have just like the Guitar Hero gift playing of it? Yeah, there you go. I think that'd be, I think that'd be pretty funny. That'd be that'd be glorious if I can figure out what the like goddamn up. Which the the Dragonlance normally a pike. This time it becomes a guitar. Exactly. <laughs> well, like an axe is a weapon, right? A guitar mm -hmm. is an axe. So hey. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's this in here. I just need. I just. I just need a. And. I'm just going to delete some of these weapons that you never use from your sheet. They'll still be there, but I'm just removing them for now. What do you mean? My, you're removing my klepto stash. How could you? You never know when I'm going to need them. <laughs> you never use this club. Yeah, you're right. It's fine, it's fine. At some point, it will use as a club of investigation. At least leave the hand axes in here because I, I, I actually did use that before. They're still before. on there. Yeah, they're still on there. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Club of investigation. <laughs> Hit something, see if it's alive and says ow. Club of investigation. Do I really just not turn this back? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll use this one. I'm using our actual, like, VTuber heads instead of the character heads, since nobody will know who the other ones are. Your sword sharpness for you is down all the, at the bottom of all your weapons. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you guys all get this feeling of holiness wash over you <clears throat> as you take the lance, and as you're exiting the temple. When you guys leave, unknowns to you, from behind one of the tapestries of the dragons steps out an old man in wizard robes with a long beard, a uh, half-cocked hat. He goes, Ugh, I hate using that voice. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, that's that's so Paladin as well, though, knowing him. <laughs> and none of, none of us are aware. <laughs> no. That's awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, oh, also, because you guys went and did the Dragonlance, that is a milestone, so you guys are now level 9. Oh, Ooh, yay! Ability score improvement, finally! Yay. Oh my gosh, level 4 cleric. Hold on, I'm pretty six. sure I get a lot for level 9, actually. Hold on, let me check. 9, 6. Oh, oh level oh, 4 cleric. Oh, my armor gets oh. better! I've been infused every part of my armor now. Wait, I get another cantrip, too. Ooh, yay. <laughs> yay. Hey, getting another cantrip is fun. You know, oh, I remember I have really good spells. On, on my HP, and I don't want to jinx it, so I think I'm just going to take the average. I now have third level spell slots. Oh, I have fifth level spell Remember, the rule now. is um, you uh, roll, and if you don't like what you roll, you can just take average. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm definitely taking average. <laughs> don't kill me now. I'm going to take that. Uh, I'll roll my other level later. I just oh. went for average for now. 76 oh. HP. That is tasty. Oh. oh. And because of... Let me roll both now, actually. It's fine. Because so... uh, <laughs> tough, <laughs> I get, I think, an additional two, I think. So yep. Let me roll two and adjust accordingly. Let me see if I want. 
So, both average and culture, so that's oh, not even now you get improved critical, so that's fun. Mm. Oh. That's this one. So, at the five, and then for my constitution, and... I'll, I'll, I'll look back in a second, because I'm trying to complete this hilarious thing here. Oh, hey, I have access to level three spells. <laughs> yeah, same. I also now have 95 hit points. Fifth no. level spell slots, get on my level. Actually, hold on, I'm doing it wrong. I oh, and your rage goes from three damage, to, uh, from two damage to three extra damage. Ooh! I'm at 98 right. hit points. I'm also almost reaching triple digits. Let's go. What spell do I want? Ah, okay. So the only thing I get is the extra spells. <laughs> Nothing yet. However, I do get aura of courage later. Anyway. Okay. <gasps> eh? Ada? Anyway. Oh shit, I can get Toll the Dead. Okay. Let me save that. I need to have a look. What's third level spell then? Oh. What do I want? Uh. No, no. Uh, oh, wait, let me get mm. out there. Mm. 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 I forgot, I need to level up Leroy too, actually. I'll get to that later. Oh my god, he's even stronger. You know, I'd better just. Oh, hold on. Sorry. I better so... take the light, just in case. Wait, do I have to roll anything? What am I rolling? Do I have to roll anything? Uh, yeah, your hit dice. Go ahead and just click, uh,. Underneath that little nine there, just go ahead and click hit dice. It's just there you go. highlight. Uh, that is. I think that is mm. average on the dot. Hmm? So yeah, your max HP here. I'll just go ahead and do it for you. Okay. Uh, that means it is now a hundred and twenty is Woo! your max HP. Yay! B. I am the cow. Anyway, uh, let's see, let's see. You now have Brutal Critical, which means... Uh, uh, your crits now do an extra dice of damage. So now instead of crits doing twice the damage, you now mm -hmm. do three times the damage. Nice! And uh, your Rage... is now a flat extra three points of damage. Ooh, cool! There you go. I, I have I have done it. I have I have and made I think thing. that's it for your ninth mm. level. Yeah, that's an idea. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, your proficiency bonus goes up too, so now all your attacks are easier to hit with. Yay! Okay, and I'm gonna just put him in his place here. And mm, there, paladins oh. are good. I might this become time. more skill monkey instead of getting an ability score improvement. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you could always get the skilled feet if you want to be more skilled monkey. Mm -hmm. I was going to go skilled expert, if anything. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. that way I could be like, oh yeah, I could be just, oh, uh, I don't know, perception or persuasion, and just get expertise with that. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Then get, I don't know, uh, probably stealth for the one that I get proficiency with. Is that okay, Lutro, if I get skill expert? That's fine. Okay, just asking. You yeah. know, I could get ceremony and marry yeah, some like of the, uh, the meme <laughs> that's. I'm <me>. scared. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Looking at the meme Timmy made, and I just can't help but think of like maybe I should be the one drinking wine, considering <laughs> you know I was the one who just <laughs> you guys beat the crap out of my monster. <laughs> <laughs> So, so anyways, um, seeing as um, Ordo and Rhino are joined at the hip now, should I get ceremony so I can marry them now? Yes, <laughs> fuck yeah! <laughs> uh, Zero, don't do this to me. <laughs> do it. But it would be so funny. I, I can now marry you off to another wife now. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> Ordo, if it helps, I believe that gives you an extra plus two to your AC for 24 hours. There you go. I, I, think I mean, wait, 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 if you give me two rings that are platinum, I can do emboldening bond, and I can marry you two, giving you plus one extra AC. Wait, <laughs> that's funny. We should totally do that. Wait, hold on. So 24 hours for extra two. An and then an extra one hour with okay. warding bond. I, I just want to point out, I have an armor class of 27. I, I, I just, can't I, give you okay. 230 AC! Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna the say morning this morning bomb, I think, is what I was thinking of what the, yeah. um, the ceremony was. Yeah, so it would yeah. only be the plus one to your AC. That would be so uh, funny. So, 
Oh. Wedding. You touch an you touch adult humanoids willing to be bonded together in marriage. For the next seven days, each target gains a plus two eight to their AC while they are within thirty feet of each other. A creature oh, yeah, can benefit from this right again only if widowed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you would get a total of plus three AC by like getting married. I, I'm, I'm gonna point one thing out. Ordo's willing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, quickly, quickly, get that club. We can, we can bludgeon him into it. <laughs> no, he's already willing. He's already willing. Yeah, he's already okay with it. Hold on, hold on. So it's, it's not a club of investigating. If it's, it's a club of marriage. It's a club of Rhinos from a barbarian tribe that has a lot of strange cultural <laughs> traditions. You know, the, 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 the slightly fucked up thing is that, that that's implying that if you're unconscious, you're consenting. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that's, your, that's the tradition. If oh. the female wishes to claim you as her mate, then she just takes you. Uh, <laughs> snow, um, snow, snow. <laughs> Let's put this ID on the back burner for now. <laughs> oh, if you I cannot. run away, then that means you accept. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Let's see. Okay, Wait. remember the safe word is Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> oh my god, Leroy will be my best man. Oh my no, god. Leroy's gonna be the officinator. Oh he's god. Gonna... <laughs> he's gonna. He's gonna. He's... Will you? Ordo, take Rhino to be to be your official Leroy. <laughs> uh, oh my fucking god. Anyway, this level up was juicy. Anyway, yes, yeah. indeed. Uh, I'm still trying to pick out my spell. I'm, mm. I'm a little bit lost, admittingly. Um, I... Skill expert plus one to a stat of your choice. I'm getting rid of that minus one intelligence. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know one spell I want. I'm debating between three other ones. No. Yeah. Well, let me let me this light from cleric. Is any of you guys getting rid of Vivify? I don't know uh, what that is. I uh, have you some restoration at best. Uh, if you're going level three paladin, I believe that gives you access to third level spells now. Is does and uh, that's on I, I've looked at them and I don't get a lot as a paladin unless I check my you don't get a lot of spell slots but I'm pretty sure you so, are is no, I think it also depends, it depends on my oath too it depends on my oath too uh, uh, paladin I'm, is a divine caster so no they don't have to be prepared no I'm saying like do they have their entire spell list and they just pick each day yeah yeah that's paladin. What I'm yeah you have revivify you can just choose to have it prepared or not oh, oh okay fair enough. So, because I, I can get rid of five with Druid later too. I, I, uh, I'm not gonna grab it yet. I think. Um, I, I think I'm gonna wait for that list. I think I'm gonna grab this one. And... Wait, Revivify's third level. I can just get rid of Revivify now. I am a Druid third level. What, what are your levels? I have a uh, level three spell slots with Druid because I'm level five Druid, and I have level four cleric. I don't know. Yeah, level four cleric. So I have second level cleric spells, but I have third level druid spells. Revivify is on there. See, the only other question I have is, do, should I get a utility spell like Dispel Magic? I would mm. say yes, because even though I can cast it, I'm more of a damage dealer and a support for that. A summary of I today's the... game. Please, quote unquote, support. <laughs> I could get Remove Curse to, uh, as well. I only have lesser restoration. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so dumb. I didn't get to play the cool music that goes along with the Lance refresh here. I'm just gonna play it now. Oh. I'm a. I'm a. I'm, I'm a dude. It's it. I'm. I'm a not gonna dispel magic. I'm gonna get one other thing that's actually gonna help me a lot probably. Mm. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just gonna get remove curse for now. Yeet. Ooh, that music is pretty. That's definitely something you would just like prepare whenever you know something. Someone's cursed. Mm -hmm. To be Good fair, way. I've been cursed like twice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying like you can like just not have it prepared, and then you're like, oh, one of one of my teammates is cursed. Uh, wait till tomorrow, and I can uncurse you. Cool. Yeah, basically. In the meantime, keep that slot with something else in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because... Uh, I, I I know what spell I'm getting. There we go. Uh, this music's really yeah. good, so I feel I feel obligated to play it. It's so pretty. Okay. If we ever need, I can do Revivify, or it could be a dick and get Summon Fae. <laughs> yeah. There's so no Fae in Dragon Lance. I, I, I oh, have yeah. the option to get the Tiny Servant spell, so I can have an additional Leroy. 
No, no, Leroy gets a little brother. The massive amount of plot holes in this because it's a uh, one E setting. Actually, you know, fuck it. I'm getting Wait. haste. Well, I guess that's, I'm changing my plan. Uh, you, I, just you realized, mm -hmm. I just realized um, vengeance paladins get haste. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I, I get. I was getting haste as well. But if you're getting it, I'm getting something else. Yum. I mean, Longstrider plus haste because I've got Longstrider. Uh huh. The, I, I also, also just the extra attack. <laughs> yeah. Brutal. Three attacks Wait. from like one of our main damage dealers is insane. Do you get Zephyr Striker? Is that a ranger skill for Yuzhara? Uh, mm -hmm. I will go check. Uh, it's a because Zephyr Striker. That might be something you get as a Vengeance Paladin. Uh, because Zephyr Striker is you. Um, you can move, hit, move, hit. Yeah. So what I get. Uh, for because I don't get it naturally as a paladin, and what I get from my vengeance is Bane, Hunter's Mark, Hold Person, Misty Step, Haste, Protection from Energy, Banishment, Dimension Door, Hold Monster, and Scrying. So I'm afraid not. That's not bad. Yeah. But let's be fair, uh, haste though. <laughs> okay, Rocky, how could you ignore haste fly? Just great. <laughs> any any annihilation spells are fantastic. Yeah. Fly is an option, but I'm all, I'm looking at Astral and Stride. As my like start fighting dragons. Mm. That's why I'm suggesting fly. You can fly easily. I'll just throw him. There you go. <laughs> no. Mm. Protection from energy might be also be good. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, there's there's a couple. There's I have got a lot of good options right now. That's the issue. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm thinking about taking protection from energy, maybe too. But I also have some weird ones like meld into stone. Yeah. Mm. No, fuck it. I'm grabbing this because I have. I'm not sussy. How dare you? I'm a normal yeah. purple lady. Uh... Basically, now that I've hit level four cleric, all of my stuff is going to go into druid from now on. Hmm. Mm -hmm. right. I'm good. That away, that away. We only have about half an hour left, by the way. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. no, just, just, just feel free to keep going. I'm going to just figure out my last spell. Yeah. Okay. So you anyway. guys have the lands, you feel fully restored for yeah. what I just want to go next. Um, I'd say the mansion. Yeah. Let's go to the you mansion. Be best. All right. Sadly, I haven't put away this beautiful music. Bye, Love the be trill at the end. Bye, beautiful mm -hmm. music. Back to the creepy. The creepy. City of the Lost is the name of this track. Ooh. <laughs> Mansion. All the way over here. Oh, boy. All right. We've got some murder. Yes, let us go forth. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you guys might run into. Oh boy. I need survival, and if you're being stealthy, stealth checks. Okay. Oh boy, I just took proficiency so, in stealth, hooray! I'm gonna survival, yeah. and then I'm gonna stealthy. Oh, and, oh lord. I have advantage in stealth. <laughs> okay, I don't have a disadvantage, so that's a 9 in survival and 14 in stealth for me. Because I'm in my infiltrate mm -hmm. armor. Mm -hmm. So that is for survival, that is 18, 12, 22, uh, and 9. Oh dear. And for stealth, that was uh, 21, 14, 17, and 8. As you walk, you can see appears to be a mural, vines climbing up it. As you can see, the depiction of the king priest, a stern man crowned with blazing light. You can see what the wizard from before meant by hedonism and ego, how the humans here were 
more high and mighty, believing themselves the ultimate vanity of good, unknowingly, and some even knowingly, doing some very evil things. As you continue to walk, you also encounter what appears to be another one of those strange toad creatures, a slod. Not again. Uh, hiding underneath one of the bridge. However, as soon as it sees you, it lifts up its hand and goes, ah, hello. Oh, God. I see you traveling here. Might you be uh, the helpful sort? Depends on the kind of help you're looking for. There is quite a few no strange creatures about. I've had plenty of man to eat. However, I'm a bit of a gourmand. These new creatures, these lizards that walk on two legs, I grow curious. I wish to eat each one. I've seen five different of total. Would you be so kind as to help me procure a sample of each so I may enhance my palate? I see how you hide from them. So you are no friend. Two two legged lizards, you say? You mean the dragons? If that is what they are. The drakes or whatever. The draconians. Draconians, uh, yeah. Over the table. Yes, yes. I've seen I mean, five different types. I wish to taste one of each. Um. I mean, we're definitely not friends of them. I can assure you that much. And he's not trying to murder us. I mean, no. Yeah. Anything you can offer us for the effort? Yeah. <sighs> he thinks for a moment, his weird clawed fingers going and touching his strange non-existent fanged lips yeah. you can see you know, gray skin just slightly melted gross as if like half rotted before he like reaches into a like torn pouch uh, that is his clothing he pulls out what appears to be a shining ring I can give this in exchange it has some magic about it Mind if I have a look at it first? It's a kiss. On the trade, but wearing it will allow you to survive any. Well, you could have. I didn't hear what you said, but it will allow you to survive any fall. Ooh. Oh. 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 That could be your I mean, given that what we're fighting, that sounds kind of good. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, we'd, we'd, have, we'd probably have to kill him anyway every single time we run into one, so... I mean, will we be able to find you here again? You can bring the morsels to me, or I can travel with you and eat them along the way. Yeah, that just sounds like a bad idea. I mean, I if he's good at stealth? I was going to say we should probably just kind of bring it back to Here's him. a picture Yeah. Of him. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. He is not oh. sneaking. Oh no! Oh, oh! You know what? We're just gonna have to be some Uber Eats today! <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Uh, he is a death slot. Oh god. Ooh. No. I mean, can he fight? <laughs> I get the feeling he probably will. Slot. Uh huh. Is he willing to fight if it's required? I mean, he probably won't. Check to see if you even know about these things. Grody. Uh, sure. I'm good at those. 
He needs to slather him in lotion. Grody. These things are of legend. They are oh. immensely hard to kill. Creatures only in legend, but you ran into a lot of those recently. <laughs> <laughs> so, part of this is like. They are beings of death, whereas before the Slaughter encounter were beings of chaos. This has taken the chaos and concentrated into chaotic death. Mm -hmm. Oof. So. Genocide frog. Or just kind of like, it's like, I feel like we might have a similar goal, or at least a similar, our goals align. We kind of want to get rid of the, the lizards here. You I mean, eat them. We're, gonna, we're gonna kill them, and you can always eat the whatever's left. Maybe we can work together on that. You fight with us, you get to eat the corpses. Yes. Help me enhance my palate. Oh dear. And I will give you this ring in return. Oh. Well, one, it one, is agreed then. One condition. Do follow <sighs> our lead on this. Because we need to have a little bit of complication with how. And if it goes well, that means more food for you two. Excellent. Right, then we agree on that. Yeah. No objections, guys? No, I mean, sure, as long as I don't get pregnant again. Huh? <laughs> uh, with oh, your yeah. 24, you would know that would not be a problem th with these things, as they do not give out tadpoles. They are um, not about creating new life. They are about decaying. Or Ordo, just, Ordo just kind of like walks up to Rhinoids and whispers in the ear, this thing will not impregnate you. You don't have to worry. Oh, then I'm fine. Rather, rather than implanting you with the tadpole, it would just cause your flesh to. Ew. I don't tell death parts. Yeah, you better um, not. I say, so what should we call you? If you have a name. Hmm. I have not had a name before. I shall take the name. Chef. Oh. All right, Chef. I'm just gonna imagine him with the hat now. My name's Ordo. As I as I very intentionally like make a gesture with my metal hand like towards him. Like a thumbs up. Uh, yes. Um. Hi. Right. I'm Rhino. So, Hi. I, I think that that's a little bit shy, it's fine. Either way, our well, idea was to head over to... Loosely. Oh boy. Our idea was to head well over to the mansion down. there. <laughs> our idea was to head over to the mansion there. There's probably going to be a lot of snacks for you over there as well. Yee. And, as a matter of fact, these guys' organ organization over there comes from there, like a lord's trunk. Yee. Meaning, we take that place out, they're going to be disorganized, a lot of easy snacks around. E. Excellent. Good. Let's get going, yes. Yep, uh, indeed. Try to be sneaky getting there, though. <laughs> mm. I I'm sure it'll taste better I when surprised. Been caught yet. Good point. All who have seen me have died. Oh. Also a form of stealth, no witnesses. <laughs> All right. Not wrong. <laughs> the poor paladin in the background. He just holy weapon. He just throws sh creature of pure death. He just throws death shit. is a kind of peace for some. <laughs> I, I just like Ordo knows what this is, and it's like, all right, listen up, buddy. <laughs> it's clearly. Horribly evil thing. <laughs> just, I can just see our good old new slot friend just like putting a bib on with like a giant like trident and a sword that he looted off of people for like, Oh a my god. <laughs> I, I, I do want to point out, as we're like traveling with this creature, Ordo is definitely poking him with questions, trying to like find out details how he works, what he's, he's from. Talking about and everything like... is finger food to him. He uses those giant claws and just sticks I'm them in. So god ew. Ordo is like 
poking, like as we're traveling, like casually poking him with like questions about like his 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 life, his species, his everything. Oh my god. We're just trying to figure out what he's about because he's he is just cute, like enthralled by this legendary death creature. Yes. Okay, what question do you ask him? So where where is are you the only one here or do you have family? Family I believe I ate my family. Oh, oh one one of those things. Okay, as he just cribbles that down. So do do your type usually work alone or like in groups? Do you like jazz? No. <laughs> I have yet to meet another of my kind. Oh. If I did, I'd wonder what they would taste like. Oh. Okay, okay. You. How does your kind, like, consider relations to other species or bonds to other people? He looks down at you and you can see that long tongue lick his lips. Oh, oh god. Yeah, that, that's what I'm partially concerned about. Oh, Grody. We should snack soon. I assume that at the, your answer there is depends on whether you're hungry or not. I'm always hungry. Noted. Let's get to work then, yeah, shall we? Indeed. <laughs> I guess we're gonna shimmy over there. Shimmy shimmy. Shimmy shimmy. Indeed. I'll have to make a token for him by next time. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Let me get over to the mansion. At the end of a row of stands a particularly intact manor. Most of the manor's east side has collapsed, but the rest of the house has been cleared and made serviceable. In the southeast corner, an attached carriage house stands next to the front entrance. As you watch, you can occasionally see patrols go in and out. About, say, once every hour or so, which okay. all about eight drag, uh, dragon army soldiers comes in and getting, again goes back out. Each door is guarded by a Kapak Draconian. Okay. The mansion is two floors, and the rubble, while immense, is not climbable. I believe that is where we'll end it for today. The cliffhanger! <sighs> we have done it. We have survived. We have survived and are now traveling with a legend of death. I mean, you know what? We'll be fine. As it's long as we've been Black Dragon, you guys were uh, fighting before. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. why I was like, can't we? we it's might fine. As well just the help them. Yeah. Important part is. He is working with us. For now. As long as he gets fed like an angry pet, he'll be fine. Yee! <laughs> we made a I'm friend! Happy <laughs> what, 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 are, what are Sarah's thoughts on this? Because you're cold. Killer, 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 Smile and nod, smile and nod. <laughs> like the minute this thing slips up, she's gonna bitch slap it. Paladin, you have, you, you have placed a very unfortunate destiny in front of me. Why did you do this? <laughs> you look, they give and they take. They gave us the dragon Pal lance and they also gave us a ear. wonderful friend. Paladin, I'm just whispering in your ear. Kill it, 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 kill it. I'm just wondering how the Sam is looking at Ordo right now for like recruiting his thing effectively. Rhino's just concerned giving, with is the just, thing cursed. She's giving you a look. Of, she's fucking giving you a look of why. <laughs> he 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 just looks back and gives you the thumbs up with a smile. I cannot. Like the, the fucking you know the fucking like meme image with like fucking um uh how to train your dragon like fucking hiccup with like the thumbs up in the background. Oh my that's god. What, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I mean. What else would I expect from the same party that troll that sold a infant dragon egg into basically slavery? 
Listen, it was either keep the egg and never get anywhere with it, or just like make use of it. At least it like it went somewhere where we <laughs> presumably think it's not gonna be used in some evil experimentation or something. Evil yeah, omelet. And we just weren't going to be able to take care of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This yes. was very um, funny. Today was fun. Today was really fucking funny. It was very funny, yes. <laughs> it was very funny threatening to marry Ordo to Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of lore drops today. Yep. Not something we usually get to do in this very goofy version of Dragonlance. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> A lot of the lore is either like, okay, actual city is lore. Oh shit, this is an option. <laughs> or the side jokes, because I now can now no longer unsee Ordo as canned beef. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like too that you're like always questioning everything, and then you start questioning. And then they... you cut out. Okay. Hello. You're like, you're always questioning everything. But then you meet the death slot, you get three questions in, you're like, okay. <laughs> Listen, it's fine. Ordo wants more time with this thing to ask more questions. He wants to learn. This is a legendary creature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just literally preoccupied with, is it cursed? No? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Rhinos are like, oh, Ordo's a smart one. We'll be fine. Exactly. And he's saying it's okay, it probably is. Yeah. Or... Anyway, uh, but since we're yeah, at the end, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I know I forgot something. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for dropping by and doing the D&D. Who are we waiting today? Uh, Tiefling Melissa is still doing her birthday subathon. Okay, I haven't made her in a while. playing Monster Hunter World right now. Ooh, yeah, okay. and on day 19, Jesus Christ. Didn't she, like, last year go on for, like, ever? Yeah, two months. Jesus Christ. I don't even understand. Yeah. All right. I'm just I'm just waiting for her to reach the last hour, only for like four more days to drop instantly. Oh my god! Oh for sure. Before saving. Mm. All right. Okay, so let me go in ahead and t um. Wait, don't I just? I don't where is my fault for? Let me let me find her. Uh, there she is. All right. Oh, look at that jet stream. Okay, everybody, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, chuck you on over. Thank you so much for joining me today for a fun route of D&D. &D. Um, wait, let me do my raid thing. Raid. I mean, I'm like, uh, with our nonstop excitement, I'm trying not to click on that stupid knock thing. I swear to God. Ugh. I hate it so much. I don't know why Twitch did that. I don't either. It's dumb, but whatever. Okay. What the hell is a okay. knock? It's basically like, hey, you can just be suddenly going into this person's stream without them having any plans for it because mm -hmm. Twitch is dumb. Mm -hmm. Yes. It just, it's such a dumb feature, but whatever. All right. And But other than that, uh, thank you very much, everybody. I will be streaming on... um. I will be streaming on Friday. It'll be just normal art again. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us today. Follow all of these. And <laughs> so I looked at her stream and I saw some uh, interestingness. Uh, okay, cool. Anyway, um, but oh, yeah, it, it'll be it'll oh, yeah, be fine. I think you're about to say follow all these entities. That, no, follow all these cool people. They are they are all lovely. I'm trying to find my other goddamn read message. Oh, here follow it is. them now. Oh, yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you didn't send the right curse word. Listen, I'll, 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 I'll have you know. Mm -hmm. Remember, this sock is made for violence. Look at those fists. Oh my, okay. He will, so <laughs> he will sock you up. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Off you go. See you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Yay. See, let me make sure. <laughs> oh. Let me the, make uh, sure. By they... the way, of course, I mean, since you don't know, the old man behind the curtain bit, mm -hmm. uh, Paladine is very famous.